Ready, look at me. Look at me, you know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أي يتجوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنت لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني إذا كان محصنا يرجم إذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق إذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد إذا ارتد يقتل إذا تاب من فعل وليس لأجل أن نغصبه على الإسلام الإسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقة يعني صير مسلم ولا ذبحناك ولا لا لا ما نريد مرتزقة الكف أول شيء السبي لا يكون إلا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لأي سبب من الأسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي أبدا السبي لا يكون إلا الكافر لا يسبى المسلم أبدا وإنما يسبى الكافر وأنا أرجو أن الإنسان لا يخجل من دينه ويقول لا هذا قبل والإسلام لا يدعو إلى هذا لا كن, كن قويا في دينك أظهر دينك نعم هذا ديني نعم الذي لا يرضى أن يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فإنه يستعبد أو يدفع الجزية أو يدخل في الإسلام أو يقاتل هذه الأحوال الأربعة أبدا لا يوجد حال خامس أول ما يدعى الإنسان يدعى الإسلام يقول لا أعبد, أعبد الله تبارك وتعالى الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life Nothing boy You're finished already Look at me Look at me You know you're done You are Ali Ali Wallahi Every single land Every single country Wallahi With all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how all with the exception of none every country every tree every grain of sand every mountain every river every ocean every ocean wallahi every star every sun every moon every single planet every single angel the billions and billions and billions of angels all of them with the exception of none Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil all the first heaven the second heaven the third heaven the fourth heaven the fifth heaven the sixth heaven the seventh heaven the ocean above it the eight that carry the throne of Allah the hearts of Allah all are dead all are dead Hello, hello, we are live on air. Welcome, everybody. 
Dude, the water, man. Oh, what's wrong with you, man? The water. <laughs> Hello, guys. We are live on air. Welcome. I hope everybody is doing okay. You're whole. You're healthy. I hope your families are healthy and well. Welcome, Angelo. How are you, my friend? Guys, our friend Angelo, he, he's the one who made my uh, intro video. I can't thank him enough. Welcome, my friend. God bless you. Radioactive, Mary Emmanuel, Aaron Staley, David Rye, our admin. Rias Croatia, another admin. God bless you. Marian Grand Bruheim, Rana Hanna, Salam al Masih, Rana Hanna, Kivki, Francis Altitude, Frank Cedric, we are blessed. Another. Beloved admin, RK, Peter Wall, Tsar Falcon, worshippers, Carrie Ann, how are you, dear sister? Karin, I remember last time, Karin, we were going to change your name only because Allah wants that to happen, right? He can change uh, the name of his prophets whenever he wants, whenever he can. Allah is not consistent. Misbah al Sayyid, Salam al Masih, welcome. Peace of Christ. Aaron Staley, Christopher Christian, Tech. 1302 Trinity Productions. Wow, there are a lot of people here. Sorry if I did not mention your name, guys. Welcome. God bless you. Let us start. Before we start, guys, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because without Him, we cannot do anything. We are lost without our Holy Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So let us pray so that the live stream can be blessed, will be blessed, and we'll continue from that. Pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers, and thank you for your grace, Lord. We believe as Trinitarian Christians that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is risen, and risen is He indeed. Al-Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we always say in the Arabic, as Arabic speaking Christians. Truly, Jesus is risen. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who are always here, almost day in, day out, to support us. Please bless our audience, their loved ones and families. And keep all of us healthy and safe, Lord, especially from the spread of this Quran virus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Please, Lord, give us a measure of your strength, so that we might not give in to discouragement, any taqiyya, any makr of Allah, Satan, deception, lies, or any doubt, Lord. Please, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims, who might be in need and are seeking for the truth, Lord. Please, Lord, open their eyes, so also they can be saved, as we are saved through the blood of our Holy Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the name above all names. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me, so can, I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. And please give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody, we are live on air. Today we'll have the opportunity to understand how and why Muslims need to lie and to deceive everyone, including themselves, all the time. On top of that, anything that we can find will be used against the fake prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is not fell asleep again. I hope that he is going to be present and will be the personal attorney during today's hearing to defend the Prophet of Islam and the Muslims in the court of law. We'll also open Skype. Hopefully there are going to be Muslims who will call us live on air. Uh, Christians, you want, if you want to call us, you have to wait. Only the Muslims can call us for now. All right, guys? Only the Muslims. So my Skype is open. If the admins could uh, provide our Skype ID in the live chat. So now and then, so that the Muslims can see it. And uh, the line is open, guys. I'm live. Look, Skype is open. So if there are Muslims who have the courage and the knowledge to call us and refute us, be my guest.
your funeral. I hope everybody is doing okay, guys. God bless you. God bless your families and loved ones. Let us start. <sighs> is the Quran from Allah or Satan? And why do Muslims always need to use lies, taqiyya and deception? Why, 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 why do you need to lie if Islam is the true religion? If Islam is Deen al-Haq, as they claim, right? The religion of truth. Then why do you need to lie over and over and over? I mean, we are tired of your lies. We are immune. We eat our seven ajwa every morning, right? And because we are Christians, we get the extra. So we are immune for black magic and poison, but also for taqiyya and makr of Allah. So, you know, it's, it's not working anymore. It's 2020. Maybe in the 80s, 90s, uh, you know, we, we were living under a stone, right? In the time of Ahmadida, the, the, the greatest deceiver of his time. But now, you know, the, we have internet, man. Internet is here. You know, we can use it against you and your fake prophet in the court of law, man. It's not working anymore, Muslims. It's not working anymore. So stop lying. It has no effect anymore on us. You know, yeah, it's over. It's over, man. Oh, all right, guys. All right. I hope you like the the topic of today, guys. I really hope so. Taqiyya. Lying and deception in Islam. One of the Sahaba said, and I quote, We smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. And this is from a Sahih Hadith, brother. We smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them? Yes. That's Islam 101. You see? We can now finally read. We have a lot of translations. Yes, most of the Islamic translations for their sources are nothing but taqiyya and lies. But, you know, we have, uh, we have people like uh, Christian Prince. We have people like uh, Rob Christian who can spank you when you lie in your translation. And we are here. You know, we are not afraid. Brother, we are not Islamophobes. We are, we are not scared. <laughs> you know, Islamophobia, the, the word on itself is, I think it's, you know, the, the guy, the Muslim who, who invented that word is not, was not really bright. Because phobia means you're scared of something. We are not scared of Islam, right? So Islamophobia on itself, the word on itself is a bankrupt word. Idiot. Taqiyya, someone says Taqiyya, my favorite topic, Ariane. God bless you, sister. I hope you like it. <laughs> so guys, I found uh, an article, and it's from Al Jazeera, right? Which is the number one Arabic TV station, right? The Arabic number one news TV station in the Muslim world, in the Arab world. And <clears throat> they, they did some investigation and they found out that at least 16,000 African Muslims, guys, those are only African Muslims, leave Islam every day. Every day in Africa. This is only the continent Africa. Can you imagine? What about the rest of the world? How many Muslims are leaving Islam there? Indonesia, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, uh, Iraq, Syria, Egypt, and so on and so on. This is only Africa, guys. This is only Africa. So if you do some, you know, Investigation, it means that 16,000, this is only Africa, guys, 60,000 a day. We have 365 days in a year. That means 6 million and 205,000 ex-Muslims apostates only in Africa a year. Can you imagine, guys? I think Mimi Hijab and Bilal Phillips, you know, remember the, the, the Imam that we played many times over and over? When he said, you know, it's going to be an avalanche. It's going to be a tsunami. It will knock us over, brother. End quote. <laughs> Al Jazeera lies? No, no, no. Candy, candy. Here they, are, they were honest. Here they were honest. Are you Shia? Candy says. Be honest. Are you Shia? This is why you are attacking the Sunni Muslims? <laughs> Look at the ta taqiyya here. We have, I think you're Shia, right? This is why you say uh, Al Jazeera lies. Al Jazeera will never lie when it's, you know, it suits Sunni Islam. It's a Sunni Islamic funded t 
TV station. It's the number one Sunni Islamic TV station in the world. What are you talking about? Right? What? What? Do some digging, idiot. Anyway. So guys, if, if this is only African Muslims who are leave Islam, what about the rest of the world? What about the rest of the continents? How many Muslims leave Islam on daily basis there? 16,000, man. And last time in our last live show, we had a really amazing sister from Somalia, right? Uh, she has her own ministry and she's not afraid to show her face. She and her husband left Islam and, and her family, her Somali Sunni family, they disowned her and her and her husband, right? But they are not afraid, you know? People are not afraid of Islam anymore, man. What can you do? So Muslims, why do you have to lie over and over and over and over and over and over and over again over and over and over again. is that because you are bankrupt is that is that it be honest muslims are you bankrupt this is why you have to lie is that is that anything le that's left for you because you know you are bankrupt islam cannot be defended that's why people like farid we spanked farid how many times did i spank him Go watch my uh, my videos. I spent him his six hour long live uh, video. You remember the six hour long video about the apostate prophet? I went through the whole six hour video and I spanked him left and right. And last time when he lied about Deuteronomy 33 2, we spanked him even harder, right? These people have no shame. They have no, no honor, no dig dignity. You Muslims have no honor. And then my aunt can shut up, yeah, Muslim. Is aunt can shut up, right? Islam. You're going to leave Islam if you have any dignity, any, any, any honesty, and any, 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 anything in you left, any decency in you. But we know only the evil, ignoramus Muslims are left in Islam. Yes, Islam is a religion of lies, and we're going to prove that today, uh, John, Johnson John. I have amazing uh, proof for you. Surprise, surprise. Yes. So let us continue. If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, Abu Darda, Abu Darda said, a companion of Muhammad, he said, we smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. What does that mean? They're going to act nice to you. Hey brother, how are you brother? You know, when they are not in power, you know, remember my uh, live show about the three stages of jihad, right? Stage one and two, they, do, they are not in full power. They're not in control. They don't own the government yet. They have to follow and obey the laws of, let's say, a Western country like the United States. But, you know, maybe, maybe they are in a majority, but still they have no power. So they're going to try, you know, act nice to you. Hi, brother. Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. How are you, Habibi? Rob Christian, Habibi. How many times have you heard a Muslim who calls me? Hey, Habibi, Rob Christian, Habibi. Yeah. But in, the, in their hearts, they are cursing us because, you know, we are the enemies of Allah, brother. So they are allowed to curse us left and right, right? And, and Al-Bukhari said that Al-Hasan said, the taqiyya, taqiyya or taqiyya, deception, makr, on behalf of Islam is allowed until the day of resurrection. So till the last day, till the last hour, Muslims are, are, are allowed to use taqiyya and deception. Guys, take notes, for God's sakes. Till the last day, Till the final hour, Muslims are allowed to lie to you left and right. It's halal for them. It's nothing but a religion of lies. Didn't I, didn't I say that I have proof for you guys? Is Ms. Bahazid exactly brother? Ya akhi, inta sah. Wallah haq tahki inta. You're correct brother. A smart Muslim is the one who is leaving Islam. If you have any decency in you as a human being, you have respect for yourselves, you have any honor in you, why are you then still a Muslim? That means you, are, you have no honor, you have no shame, because you love to lie, you love to use makr and deception of Allah. Right? Until the day of resurrection. Guys, make a screenshot. I made this for you guys, you know, in paint. Use it, guys. Keep it as a reminder when you debate Muslims who are lying. Always keep it in the back of your head. When you debate Muslims, they are allowed to use taqiyya and deception in debates. 
reference. Can you can you do search, man? Take a screenshot. Do do some your own, do some own homework, man. Do I have to do everything for you guys? Come on. Copy a couple of words here, and you you can get take it or here. Use the search engine, man, on Sunnah.com. I'm not going to do all the homework for you guys. Come on. Don't be lazy, Christians. Stop being lazy. Because of your laziness, Islam might be still a little bit growing. Because of your laziness. I believe, guys, I will keep saying it. If all the Christians did their homework, at least listen to Jesus Christ, because we are allowed, right? If you act like a Christian, because we are allowed to expose false prophets like Muhammad, we are allowed to expose false teaching. If all the Christians in the world would not be lazy, Islam would not survive in two years. Islam will die in two years. Be honest to yourself, guys. At least be honest to yourselves. If Christians would not be lazy, Islam would die in, within two, the next two years. Right? Be honest, guys. Come on. But to, let's be honest, we Christians, we rather watch cooking videos, we, we rather watch, go watch uh, 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 MMA or, uh, or maybe a football game, uh, maybe a soccer game, maybe uh, uh, a baseball game, a basketball game. Watch TV all night long. What do you gain from that, man? It's the same nonsense over and over. Do your homework, Christians. Do what you got to do. Right? I'm not saying to you, guys, I'm not saying to you, you know, do what I do, do what Christian Prince does or David Wood. I'm not, I'm not asking you to do that. But do what you got to do. Share. Share the information that we use. Right? That we teach you. Share it. Sh download our videos. Do what you have to do. Don't be lazy. Save those Muslims. Destroy this cult because it's a man-made cult. You can destroy it. And how? Not by picking up weapons. No. Your weapon is knowledge. Your weapon, your key. The, the key is knowledge. Knowledge, guys. That's the power. Power is knowledge. Knowledge is power. Alright? Why, why are the Christians so lazy, man? Sometimes it kills me inside, man. When I see Christians, I, see, I know a lot of Christians, man, who don't care about what happens to Muslims, you know? Who don't care what happens to, to their neighbors. You know, he, for example, guys, you know, I don't want to put anyone on, a, uh, you know, but he, our brother, our, my dear brother, Phil Herrera. Do you see Phil Herrera, one of the admins? Every time on any Christian apologist live show or live stream, if he's an admin there, he, you know, everything that we use, all the sources that we use on our live shows, he goes there and he posts them. Why can't you do what he does, man? Is it too hard, guys, to do something? I know a lot of people, and sorry, I'm talking to the Christians. I'm trying to be honest here. Christians come to, uh, you know, to our live shows, a little bit inter entertainment. You know, we love to joke, you know, so it, it won't get boring. But do, do something, man. Do something. Don't be lazy, man. Do something, man. I believe if all the Christians... Do what they have to do. Islam will die in two years. I mean, you heard Bilal Phillips. You heard Bilal Phillips. It will hit the Islamic community like an avalanche. It will knock them over like a tsunami. They know it's coming. But you have to do your job. Right? You have to do your job. We just showed you, right? 16,000 African Muslims leave Islam every day. If you Christians do something, it will die within the two years, man. This is only Africa, man. Six million, two hundred and five thousand Muslims leave Islam in Africa on a yearly basis. Islam is finished, yeah. But if you want it, if you guys want it to end sooner than later, then all the Christians need to stand up. Stop watching TV, man. Stop watching nonsense stuff, man. Do what you got to do. Be a Christian. Act like a Christian. You know? In Jesus' name, exactly, uh, Alexia. Do it in Jesus' Don't do it for me, guys. I'm a nobody. I am a nobody. You don't need Rob Christian. I need Jesus myself. 
I'm not asking you to teach, guys. Please, guys, don't put word in my mouth. I'm not asking you to teach like we do. But help a brother. Help a brother. Help Christian Prince. Help David Wood. Right? If you don't want to help me, that's okay. Help Christian Prince. Help David Wood. Help others. Share the information that we teach you. Right? It's over for Islam. But, you know, help. Help people, man. So that they won't die in their sins. If you do not accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you will die in your sins. Guys, <clears throat> uh, I found a comment by this guy. Did you see this guy? I, I saw this comment somewhere and I really wanted to share it with you. I hope the, is the screen uh, clear guys? Can you read it uh, good enough? Is it big? I hope it's big enough for you. This guy said in Islam, Guys, watch. In Islam, we are allowed to lie under three circumstances. What are the th three circumstances? This is a Sunni Muslim, right? The first is we can say that we are not Muslim. So they can say that they are not Muslim if someone or people are threatening our life and would kill us if we were to state that we are Muslim or follow Islam. Wait, wait, guys, wait. Did you catch what this guy said? If you are if you are afraid for your life, you can say that you are not a Muslim. You can lie about being a Muslim. Wait a second. You Muslims claim that you follow the Deen al haq the religion of truth, right? So why do you need to lie? What kind of coward religion is this? What kind of deceptive religion is this that you will not die as an honor? I would love to die for Christ. If someone puts a knife on my throat, I will never deny Jesus. I would love to die for Jesus. Like Stephen, the first Christian martyr. Did he deny Jesus? No. He, what did he say? God, please forgive. Jesus, please forgive them. They do not know what they do. But Muslims are, are allowed to, to drop Muhammad like a, a bag of sand, sand right? Like, you know, use him like toilet paper. Using the prophet like toilet paper, wiping your ass with him. Sorry for using these words, but it's, that's, the, that's the truth. Use Allah like toilet paper and say you're not a Muslim. What kind of coward religion is this, man? If you truly follow the religion of Al-Haq, Deen Al-Haq, the religion of truth, why do you need to lie about your faith? What kind of scumbaggery is this, man? Point number two, you are allowed to lie under the following Point number two. The second is if we are captured by the enemies of the Muslims during a fight or battle and are asked which way did they go. For this we are allowed to point in the wrong direction and mislead the enemies so that the Muslims are safe. Again, what a pagan cult man. What a coward scumbaggery cult man. Right? Sad haters here. Yeah, we hate Islam, well, that's true, but we are not sad. We are very happy that we can expose the taqiyya and deception of Allah, man. Yeah, so Allah, exactly, Trinity protection. You're very bright, my friend. Allah allows Muslims to sin. Do you see it? Because lie, lying is a sin. But Allah is the one who is allowing it. That means Allah is the biggest deceiver. He is Satan. He's nobody else than Satan, right? Allah is Satan. Did you catch it? Allah himself is Satan, man. If he allows you to lie, and he's the father of all lies, because he owns that lie, right? If he's, he's the one allowing you to lie, that means Allah is the owner of that lie, of, of that sin. That means he's the father of all lies. Right? Allah is the father of all lies, because he's the one who is allowing you to lie. I.e. Allah is nobody else than Satan in disguise, right? And Muhammad is the agent of Satan, the prophet of Satan, Allah. <laughs> Point number three. The last lie. Look, what is left, man? I mean, what's left? <laughs> what's left? The last lie we are allowed to tell if our wives or our friends ask us a question about themselves and we know the answer would hurt them and not benefit them. I mean, what's left? What's left? I mean, if you are allowed to lie to your wife and your wife 
are allowed is allowed to lie to you what is left what's left if lo so called loved ones you see the true love story in islam if a husband and a wife are allowed to lie to one another to keep the marriage healthy brother healthy brother what's left what's left guys what's left uh, exactly, Karian. Imagine your wife. You you know you 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 are at work as as a husband. You are a Muslim husband. You are at work. You are you working your ass off all day. Let's say in a country, a poor country like Indonesia, you work seventeen hours a day. Seventeen hours a day. You come home, and you don't know that your wife is sleeping with someone else behind your back. She is having. You know, fornication, she's doing fornication with someone else behind your back with another man. And you come home and she says, hey, husband, how are you? Mwah, mwah, habibi, habibi, how are you, habibi? You are working and she's effing someone else. But she is allowed to lie to keep her marriage good, man. As long as you don't find out. Right? Keep the marriage healthy, brother. Keep lying, brother. Habibi, ya habibi. How are you? How, how is your working day, bro? You work for 70 hours, brother? Let me let me make some delicious food for you, some sh shish kebab. Do you like shish kebab, brother? Maybe some hummus and uh, falafel on the side, brother. Your fingers crossed, exactly. Right? What's left? What's left if a husband can lie to his wife and a wife can lie to her husband? What's left? What kind of religion is this? Muslims think Use your brain. I know the moment you are born in your Muslim family, you are brainwashed in this man-made cult that you call Islam. Deen al-Haq, right? Religion of truth. But what kind of religion is it? What's left if you are allowed as a husband to lie to your wife and your wife is allowed to lie to her husband? What's left? Tell me what's left. I want to know Muslims what's left. Call me and tell me, teach me something new about Islam. My Skype is open, man. Teach me what's left. Guys, I, think with me here. Don't you get crazy from this man-made religion? What's left if you are allowed to lie to your own loved ones? I mean, what's left? Any Abdul? Habibi means, uh, yeah, my darling, my dear, in Arab. Habibi, hayati, inta. Habibi ya nur al ayn ya Salak zaman ktir No way What's left guys? Come on What's left? <sighs> if we go to the Quran guys and we already mentioned this. Allah is the father of all lies because he's the one who is allowing you to lie. He owns that lie. He owns that sin. He's the father of all sin. He's the father of all lies. Right? If we go to chapter 3, ayah 54, we can read. وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَكَرِينَ What? And they, the disbelievers, schemed and Allah schemed, and Allah is the best of schemers. Guys, this, this is the most closest translation that I could find for the word Mekr. Mekr, do you see it? This is the closest one, right? Yeah, my Skype is open, guys. Muslims, if we have Muslims, call me. Refute me, brother. We have 204 people watching. Prove to everybody that Rob Christian is a deceiver like you, Allah. Prove it. Maybe I'm lying, guys. Who knows? Allahu a'lam. Maybe Rob Christian is bigger liar than Allah himself, man. Prove me wrong. You see, guys, the word for the people maybe who are new, uh, you know, about learning about the true face of Islam. You see this highlighted word, Mekr? Mekr? It means deception. So if Allah claims to be the best of deceivers, right? Schemers, deceivers, that means Allah is the father of all lies, he's Satan. 
He claims, you know, he is proud about it. Allah is proud about it. Do you see it? Because Allah is the one who is talking, right Muslims, in the Quran? So Allah is saying, Allah is the best of all deceivers. Look, I copied the word, you see it, Mekr. Cunning. Scroll down, you see very, 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 very crystal clear information. Do you see it? What do you see there? Deception, deceit. Brother, it means planners, brother. You liar. <laughs> You liar. Maybe you should sue Google, guys. The Muslim Muslims, you need to sue Google for saying that it means deception, brother. Because you claim it means planner. So you should sue Google, go to them, grab the CEO by his beard, drag him over the floor and say, how dare you to lie about the word Mecca? It doesn't say that RC. Yeah. Uh, someone is saying, one of the admins, Rias Qureshi, how are you, my friend? God bless you. He says, and I quote, Whoa, those are all descriptions of Satan. Exactly. Allah is Satan, man. He's proud about it. And actually, guys, I tried. I tried to find as close, uh, good translation. And I found this one by Pictol for this ayah. You see Pictol, guys? Let me give you the link. You know, you know, everybody knows what scheming means. It's deception. They schemed and Allah schemed and Allah is the best of schemers. Right? They don't dare to use the word uh, deception. You know, because if you're going to read you're not going to accept Islam, right? Maybe some people don't know what the word scheming means. <laughs> you know? Taqiyya, brother. Shaitan, i.e. Allah, is the king of all liars. Exactly. So guys, I want to play a small video for you from the hero of Islam, Mr. Sheikh. Sheikh Ahmad Idad himself. Ahmad Idad, brother? Yes. The number one Muslim apologist of his time. Put on your headsets, guys. And uh, let us play the video. Let's see. All right. Let me play it, guys. This is Ahmad Ida, the, the Islamic knight of his lifetime, right? The hero. The He was a multi-millionaire. You have no idea how much money this guy received when he was, uh, you know, pouring out his poison, his lies and deception, using the taqiyya and deception, the makr of Allah, right? To, you know, to defend Islam and whatnot. This guy here, this idiot liar here. And I'm not going to try to talk about, uh, you know, his uh, suffering in the end. You know what? All, all of you know what happened to him later, right? When he challenged the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When you're going to challenge the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God will answer, right? You challenge them and we know what happened. Of miracles. I have read to you a verse from the Holy Quran. Abdul. There is no such thing called the Holy Quran. The Quran in Islam is unholy. Yes, you heard it correctly. The Quran in Arabic is called Al-Quran Al-Karim, the noble Quran. Let me pray for you a video from a Sunni Sheikh who will rebuke and destroy Ahmadidat when Ahmadidat said the Quran is holy. No, there is no such thing called Holy Prophet or Holy Quran. Let me play the video for you. No such thing as Holy Quran. You will not, Holy in Arabic means Muqaddas. 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 Have you ever came across an ayah in the book of Allah where Allah says Al-Quran Al-Muqaddas? No. Ever came in a narration? No. No. And as mentioned before, there is no such thing as Holy Quran. No. We don't have anything in Islam called Holy Quran. In no, Christianity, you have Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Ghost, Holy... That's true. Because your Quran, your Allah are unholy, 
our holy God, our holy living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is holy. Your Quran, your Allah, your Prophet are unholy. Right? Holy Bible. But in Islam, we don't have holy Prophet, holy Quran, and the holy other things. Have you heard it? There is no such thing called holy Quran. There is no such thing called holy prophet. So Mr. Ahmadidad, you're a liar and a deceiver. <laughs> Guys, let me give you the link to this video, all right? Use it and benefit from it. Use it against the Muslims in the court of law. When they say, when, whenever, guys, pay attention, please help me to help you for the love of God. Whenever you catch a Muslim saying the Holy Prophet or the Holy Quran or Holy Allah, spank him with this video. Spank him with this video. Let me give you the link. Can you see it? No such thing as Holy Quran, right? The start part two. Of miracles. I have read to you a verse from the Holy Quran. Holy Quran, Ahmed did that? Abdul, there is no such thing called the Holy Quran. The Quran in Islam is unholy. Yes, you heard it correctly. The Quran in Arabic is called Al Quran Al Karim, the noble Quran. Let me pray for you a video from a Sunni Sheikh who will rebuke and destroy Ahmadidat when Ahmadidat said the Quran is holy. No, there is no such thing called holy prophet or holy Quran. Let me play the video for you. No such thing as holy Quran. You will not, holy in Arabic means muqaddas. Muqaddas means holy. Muqaddas. Have you ever came across an ayah in the book of Allah where Allah says, Allah Guys, by the way, by the way, the Arabic meaning, guys, the Arabic word for the Holy Bible, we call it, because guys, Bible means what? What does Bible mean? Guys, in the live chat, I'm asking you a question. What does Bible mean in, in the word Bible? What does it mean? Anyone? What does the Bible mean? No, Riyas Quraysh, you're wrong. Book, yes, book, 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 not books, book, without the S, book. So, Al-Kitab, guys, in the Arabic, we Arabic-speaking Christians, we call it Al-Kitab Al-Muqaddas, right? That's the Holy Bible. Bible means book, so the Holy Book, did you catch it? That's what we Arabic speaking Christians call the Holy Bible. The Holy Book. Al Kitab al Muqaddas. The Holy Book. Holy Book. Did you catch it? So, our book, our Holy Bible is holy. But the Quran is unholy. Allah is unholy. And Muhammad is unholy. What's left? What's left? If the Quran is unholy, Muhammad is unholy, that means Allah is Satan and Muhammad is the unholy. Prophet of Satan. A bam! This, this, this Abdul that you see on the screen, without knowing, he just destroyed his Allah and Prophet. Quran al Muqaddas. Ever came in a narration? No. And as mentioned before, there's no such thing as holy Quran. We don't have anything in Islam called holy Quran. In Christianity, <laughs> thank you, you for holy confirming Father, that. Holy Son. Holy Ghost, Holy Bible, but yeah. in Islam... So, our, our God is holy, Jesus is holy, our Holy Bible is holy. <laughs> but in Islam, nothing is holy, brother. Everything is unholy. I mean, if it's, un it's not holy, that means it's unholy. <laughs> what a mercy, guys. Guys, please, I, let me give you the link for the people who just joined. Use this, guys, come on. Use this for in your debates. Yeah, filthy Quran, man. Filthy Quran of Satan. Exactly. <laughs> you see how important uh, the words of this Sheikh and this Sheikh is confirming. These are not my words, guys. Very smart uh, Sheikh, brother. Very bright Sunni Sheikh, brother.
Anyway, let us continue, guys. Let us continue the teaching. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. You are making my job so easy, man. You are making my job much easier, man. Keep doing that, Sunni shiuch. Yeah, shiuch. Shiuch. Keep doing what you do, man. You are making our job so easy. Yeah, top, top. <laughs> Chapter 69, guys. <laughs> the Quran is unholy, brother. Muhammad is unholy, brother. Yeah, yeah man. Chapter 69, guys. Please <laughs> try, try to focus. <laughs> chapter 69. Uh, chapter 69, ayah 40. إِنَّهُ لِقَوْلِ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ Right? It's the speech, ayah 40, 69, ayah 40, it's the speech of a noble messenger. So the Quran is nothing but the speech of Muhammad. What? He and Muhammad did poo poo, guys. And <laughs> continue reading. Muhammad huwa bi qawli So he's, you know, this is not speech of a poet, brother. You need to remember, Muhammad was accused of being a liar. Yes, even in the Quran you can find it, in many ayahs. Muhammad was accused of being a liar. He was being accused of stealing asatir al-awwaleen. Stealing fairy tales, legend stories, asatir, legend fairy tale books, stories. Did you catch it? Muhammad, they knew the people around him, the Jews, the Christians, even the, even the pagans, they knew Muhammad is stealing stories, man-made stories, child stories that parents used to tell their children to scare them, you know, so that they go asleep. You know, if you, if you don't as go asleep, my child, the boogeyman will come and eat you, right? So Muhammad was stealing these stories, child stories, and he put it in Quran, like the flying carpet, the seven sleepers, which is a man-made story by a Christian monk. Right? The seven sleepers of es Ephesus, right? The flying carpet of Solomon with the hairy legs and uh, whatnot. These are le Jewish legend stories that they used to tell to their children, right? Uh, punishment of the grave, guys. Maybe I didn't mention this earlier. Have you heard of punishment of the grave? Punishment of the grave. We made a cartoon about it, guys. Have you seen our cartoon? Have you seen our cartoon about the punishment of the grave? You saw, you saw it, right? In that cartoon, you can see how you know what will happen to a Muslim. You know, you die in, uh, yeah, you die, and you go inside the grave. They put you in your grave, and two uh, uh, angels uh, pop out, and they, you know, their name is Munkar wa Makir. Manaki, Mak, uh, sorry, the names Munkar wa Nakir, and uh, they are going to ask you some questions, right? If you don't pass the exam, the test that they are, they are going to do to you, they are going to hammer you down with a huge sledgehammer. Pow! Pow! You know? And then a snake will pop out and it will, you know, do things to you. You know, I don't want to go too graphic. But, you know, a, a, a bald snake will appear in your grave and, you know, it will eat your flesh. And it will do all kind of nasty stuff to you, man, inside your grave. So Muslims are scared to death what will happen to them inside their graves. But wait, the story, you know how this story came to existence about the punishment in the, in the grave in Islam? A, two Jewish ladies, guys, I kid you not, two Jewish ladies came to see Aisha. Aisha, the mother of the believers, right? The baby bride of Muhammad who Muhammad was tying when she was six years. He was putting his penis between her legs and climaxing. They call it fondling, but we know that it's tying, right? So that same Aisha, yeah. So the two Jewish ladies came to her and told her, have you heard about the punishment of the grave? Muhammad before that, he never ever mentioned the punishment of the grave because he didn't know about it, right? Muhammad never heard of the punishment of the grave. So the two Jewish ladies came to throw Aisha because she, you know, the Jews were very smart. You need to understand, guys. The Jews in the time of Muhammad, they were very smart. They know everything Muhammad hears, he makes it Islam and Quran. Right? So the Jewish ladies, they used to tell this 
story about the punishment of the grave to their children. Again, the Jews used to tell their children the story of the punishment of the grave. It was a Jewish legend story that they used to tell their children to scare them. If you don't go asleep, for example, uh, a snake will enter, you know, and, and it will, you know. And Muhammad, he heard it from Aisha, you know, Aisha, when the two Jewish ladies went away, Aisha went to Muhammad and she said to him, you know, Two Jewish ladies came to me and they told me about this nonsense story about the punishment of grave. I didn't believe them. Aisha said, and I quote, they told a lie. They were lying to me. She knew. Aisha was not stupid. She knew that these two Jewish ladies came to, 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 to tell her jokes. Legend stories. And they know Muhammad, when he hears it, he's going to make it Islam. Right? Right? So Muhammad made it Islam, punishment of the grave. It's nothing but a legend story, a Jewish legend story that they used to tell their children to scare them. Right? Brother, so it became Islam, brother. And now Muslims still today are scared to death from the punishment of the grave. While it was a Jewish legend story. So Muhammad, he thought to himself, hey, I can use this to scare the Abduls. Because, you know, Islam is nothing but scare tactics by Muhammad. You know, you leave Islam, I'm going to kill you. You become an apostate, I'm going to kill you. You become an apostate, you will, two angels will come to, in your grave when you die, and they're going to hammer you down. They will uh, hammer you down into a pulp, a bloody pulp, right? Right? So guys, if you want to sh uh, see the, the cartoon, you can find it. Just type in Rob Christian in YouTube, and then Punishment of the Grave. You'll see the cartoon that we made. So guys, <clears throat> as you see, Muhammad was accused, and the proof is in front of you, over and over and over, to be a stealer of stories, to be nothing but a poet, right? You're a poet. You're only telling stories. You're telling, telling us only poetry. We, we know about it. They already know about it. Yeah, and, and punishment of, according to Muhammad, you are going to, you know, get punished because it's about, it's because of urine. Urine is one of the worst sin in Islam. You're going to get punished for it. Yeah, urine, yeah, urine. Peeing, brother. Nothing else, you know, you, you, you kill someone, oh, urine is the problem, right? Urine is so dangerous, it can bring you to hell, but you can drink it. <laughs> exactly, Peter. You're funny, man. You're funny, bro. You're cracking me up, man. Uh, all right. So, guys, Muslims claim that Muhammad... Allah is praying on him. There's nothing called peace and blessing. Allah is praying on him. The angels are praying on him. But when Allah prays, to who, to who does he pray? We don't know. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. But Allah prays, brother. Allah prays for, not to, according to Mimi Hijab. So Allah still prays. So Muhammad is the best of example for a person who has Allah centered. So Allah... Allah's best example is Muhammad, brother. So everything Muhammad says, you must obey as a Muslim. Right? So in other words, if we go to chapter 53, chapter 53, ayah 3 and 4, we can read. وَمَا يَنْتَقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنَّا هُوَىٰ إِلَّا وَحْيٍ يُوحَىٰ brada. What does that mean? Muhammad never speaks out of his desire, guys. So everything that comes out of the mouth of Muhammad is nothing but divine revelation. Muhammad, in, in other words, was the walking Quran himself. Did you catch it? Muhammad was the walking Quran. Everything Muhammad come, come out of his mouth, when he dumps poo, poo out of his mouth, it's divine revelation, brother. Did you catch it? The proof is in front of you, guys. This is nothing but divine revelation. 
Everything Muhammad says is divine revelation. It's, it's Allah speaking through Jibreel, right? Everything, if Muhammad says hi, it's Allah saying hi. Muhammad says hi, that means Allah is saying hi. Hi brother, that means Allah is speaking. Right? According to, look at the logic of Islam. So if, if Muhammad is saying, I'm going to poop, Allah is the one saying, I'm going to poop, brother. Right? Yeah. Muhammad used Allah as his sock puppet, right? Muhammad used Allah as his sock puppet. إِنَّ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيًا يُوحَى Right? إِلَّا وَحْيًا يُوحَى Everything comes out of his mouth is divine revelation. Did you caught it, guys? Did you catch it? Guys, this is really, really important. Please give, keep this in the back of your head, okay? Because this is going to be very important from now on because we're going to use it against Muhammad in the court of law. Right? Okay, guys? So everything Muhammad speaks is divine revelation. Did you catch it? Give me one, guys, please. So we continue. So that I, you know... Know that your guys caught it. Everything Muhammad says is divine revelation from Allah. All right, all right. In other words, Muhammad opens his mouth, it's divine revelation from Allah. Muhammad says hello, it's Allah speaking through Jibreel, right? That's what Islam teaches us. That's what the Quran teaches. Okay. Now that we uh, understand what's happening, we can go to the next topic. Sunan Abi Dawood, hadith number 1498. Sahih, 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 hadith, brother. Narrated Abu Huraira, the messenger of Allah. Allah is praying on him. You cursed the man who dressed like a woman and the woman who dressed like a man. So Allah, through Muhammad, is cursing a crossdresser. So if you become a crossdresser, you put on the clothes of a woman as a man in Islam, you are being cursed by Allah and His Prophet. Alright? If Muhammad curses you, that means Allah is the one doing the cursing. Remember, we said to you, Muhammad opens his mouth, it means it's divine revelation from Allah, right? Muhammad, Muhammad is the walking Quran himself. So if you become a crossdresser, you are cursed by Allah and His Prophet. But wait! Sahih al-Bukhari, I have a surprise, surprise, surprise. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2581. Sahih al-Bukhari, not daif. Muhammad said, divine revelation does not come to me, except in the garment of Aisha. Do you see it? Divine revelation does not come to me in the garment of any woman, except that of Aisha. So Muhammad here was wearing female, a woman's garment. The piece of clothing of, of a woman, in this case Aisha. But wait, you just said, Muhammad, earlier you said, if a man dressed like a woman, he's cursed. You, you yourself cursed him. And that means Allah at the same time is doing the cursing along with you. Because everything Muhammad says is divine revelation, right guys? Did you catch it? Everything Muhammad says is divine revelation from Allah. So, Muhammad cursed himself and Allah cursed Muhammad. Right? Muhammad and Allah cursed Muhammad. Because he is a crossdresser. So Muhammad became the cursed prophet of Allah. What? Yeah, guys, and you can't, Muslims, you can't play the taqiyah game with Rob Christian. No, no, no. وَإِنْ وَأَنَا فِي Guys, وَأَنَا فِي ثَوْبِ إِمْرَأَةٍ إِلَّا عَيْشَةٍ So I am, and I am in the thawb, the word is thawb, right, thawb, of who? Of a woman. Imra'atin, woman, not uh, in the garment of himself, no, in the garment of a, wo a woman, and in this case Aisha, do you see this? 
This is the name of Aisha in Arabic. Aisha. Imra'atin. A woman. You can play those games with me. It says clearly the thobe, the garment of a woman. Garment of a woman. I translate it as it is. Do you see it? Garment of a woman. So Muhammad became a cross-dresser. It was not his garment. Sahih al-Bukhari 2581. Guys, if you go to the hadith, I kid you not, they use false translation. This is my own translation because how many times do we tell you it's false translation that they use? Because they are bankrupt, they are ashamed that their prophet is a cross-dresser. So I made this translation because their translation is false. Imra'a is what? A woman. Imra'atu of Imra'atin, it means a woman. So the thobe of a woman, in this case Aisha, it's crystal clear, man, right? But Muslims need to use taqiyya, deception, and lie in the translation. You see how important it is to know Arabic like me? So we can bust the translations. Yeah, the cross dresser prophet, exactly. Do we have any Muslim guys? Do we have any Muslim? If you are a Muslim and you think you have the courage and the knowledge to call me and refute me, go ahead. We are live. Look, call me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Yeah, they are ashamed, so they need to use lies and deception in their translation. So Muhammad became the RuPaul's drag queen. Yeah. Exactly, amazing grace. Do you have Muslim who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge to refute me live on air? We are live, guys, come on. Muslims, we are live. Refute me, please. End my career. I'm tired of spanking your prophet almost every day. I'm tired. Guys, uh, I'm out of water. Hopefully, we'll, you know, when I come back, we'll have a... Let's say two minute drinking break, right? And we'll be right back. And I hope we will have a Muslim who installed Skype and is going to call me for a nice, respectful discussion. I challenge you Muslims to call us. So let us have a nice drinking break. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, all right, we're back, guys. <clears throat> yeah, that was a song from the movie Karate Kid. You know, I was a kid, you know, in the 80s, I was really a kid and I was a fan of Karate Kid. Man, when that movie came out, <laughs> yeah, especially the song that I was playing, it brings back childhood memories, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an old guy. Maybe I'm sound young. Yeah, I sound young, but I'm an old guy, man. You should see my beard, bro. It's bigger than uh, Zachary Nike's beard, and it's even more white than his beard. High Wire was the song's name. Glenn Medeiros, High Wire. Yeah. From the movie Karate Kid. The 80s, man. Best, you know, he didn't have the internet. We used to play outside all day long, you know. My mom used to, uh, you know, drag me from outside to come and eat, man. I was, you know, <laughs> we. I never seen a fat kid in my in my in my time, man. We used to, we used to hang out outside, healthy, enjoying, you know. But now the kids are sitting home and uh, they only sit uh, behind their smartphones and play games all night long, man. Anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, uh, Ahmed Idad uh, in that time, he was doing a huge damage because there was no internet. People did not know about Islam like today. So he was doing his uh, deceptive thing, right? And not many people uh, in that time had the knowledge about Islam to refute him. They, they refuted him about Christianity, but they didn't know much about Islam, right? There were no translations and whatnot, you know, like we have. No, no, the internet is the, the, the biggest enemy against Islam. The internet is killing Islam, right? Hi, Waya. Anyway, so guys, Muhammad became a cross-dresser, the cross-dresser prophet of Islam, brother. The drag queen of his time. He put the garment of a woman, in this case Aisha, right? <clears throat> Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to refute us? Anyone? Speaking from Kiev, Hira, Hira, Mayday, Mayday, help your prophet out, man, defend your prophet in the court of law. Your prophet became a cross-dresser. Muhammad cursed himself and Allah, along Muhammad, cursed the prophet of Islam, right? We can conclude that Muhammad is a cross-dresser wearing women's clothing, i.e. the garment of Aisha, right? The garment of Aisha, Imra'a, Thawb, Thawb of an Imra'a, right? Imra'atu, Imra'atin, right? That means the garment of a woman. Thawb Imra'a. Thawb Imra'a, that means the garment of a woman. You can't play those taqiyya games with me, brada. I am immune. I always eat my seven ajwa. I become immune for black magic and poison. And because I'm a Christian, I'm people of the book. I get the immunity for your taqiyya, brother. It's not working anymore, brother. You know, people of the book get the extra, brother. Make sure to eat seven ajwa, guys. Seven dates. Point number two, anything that comes out of the mouth of Muhammad, as we showed you, is divine revelation. So that means when Muhammad was cursing someone who is a cross-dresser, that means Allah himself cursed Muhammad, right? Allah himself cursed Muhammad. Why, Rob Christian? Because if Allah is the one doing the cursing and it's divine revelation through Muhammad and Muhammad became a cross-dresser, that means Allah is the one who cursed Muhammad, right? One plus one. Any Abdul who disagrees with Rob Christian, call us. Exactly. Yalla ya akhwan, yalla yalla. Eh al umma di ya halawa. Eh al umma di ya ammi. Eh al halawa di. 
وين بدكم تروحوا يا 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 مسلمين يا اخي وين بدك تروح where does your prophet want to go we are here we're grabbing him by his beard and we're dragging his lies over the floor him and his lies over the floor we are wiping the floor clean with muhammad's beard and you muslims cannot do anything about it we're showing you that allah himself cursed muhammad No Muslim can do anything. Where's Fifi, man? Fifi? Fifi, brother? Where are you, Fifi, brother? Lili? Ali Dawa? Muhammad Hijab, Mr. MMA fighter. You're finished! Fifi? Yeah, Farida, where are you, Farida? I know you're watching. I know. I know you and your boyfriends are watching. I know Amin is watching, the one who sent me a death threat. I know uh, Ibn al-Jurran is watching, the one who also sent me a death threat. You have two months, Rob Christian, or else. I'm still waiting for the or else. You are finished, brother. Or else. Oh, well, I'm still spanking your prophet left and right, and you cannot do anything about it. Yeah. yeah. Religion of peace, yeah, brother. Or else. <clears throat> so what are you going to do about the cross-dresser prophet of yours, Muslims? Huh? What are you going to do? Where do you want to hide from us? We are here to get you, man. I will find you and I will kill you. You remember the movie, guys? I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> nah. No. We, we, we love you, man. We love you, man. You call us nejes, you call us filthy, you call us all kind of names. Your Allah call us all kind of names. We know it's Muhammad in speaking in the Quran. Because Muhammad is the one who, who made the Quran, man. He calls us worst of creatures. Okay, keep calling us that. But we are spanking you by using your own Muslim sources against you in the court of law. You are busted. Prove us wrong. Yeah, prove us wrong, man. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian, man. Your prophet became a crossdresser, and Allah, Allah cursed him, right? Allah cursed him. Muhammad is clearly saying, "I am in wa ana, I am in fi in fi." Guys, the word fi means in, right? In thobe, thobe means garment. Right? The piece of clothing of a woman. Why? Because it says Imra'atin. Imra'a. Woman. Imra is Imra'a means woman. And who? Illa Aisha. Except that of Aisha. Illa means except. Aisha. Aisha. One of his wives. The baby bride of Muhammad. This is divine revelation, Rob Christian, yes. Because remember, everything Muhammad says, when Muhammad opens his mouth, from that moment it's already divine revelation from Allah. So Allah cursed Muhammad, right? Allah cursed Muhammad. Because Muhammad said, curse the man who dressed like a woman. Muhammad himself is doing the cursing. And because Muhammad is speaking here, right? Muhammad is speaking, that means... Allah is doing the cursing for Muhammad and Muhammad is cursed, right? When he became a cross-dresser. When he was inside the thobe of Aisha, the garment of Aisha. You can't play the taqiyah games in a translation, brother. I'm here to get you. I'm here to get you and spank you and your prophet. You cannot do it, anything about it. We're spanking you, you cannot do anything about it. Crystal clear, why? Because you are not... Courage enough to call me. Call me and refute me, man. Show everybody that Rob Christian is lying. Show everybody that Rob Christian is lying about the translation. Guys, by the way, where did the, I get this from? Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2581. I did a copy-paste and I gave my own translation because the translation, you if you go to it, I think it says bed, right? Uh, iPhone 3G. Let us see if we can... I think this is the one. Let's see. Let me show you, guys. Let's be honest. Let me show you how Muslims are doing taqiyya when they translate. Watch. I hope this is the one. Yeah. I think this is the hadith. 
Watch guys, watch how they are doing taqiyya. Watch. Think this is the hadith, right? Yeah. Uh, pa, 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 scroll down. <clears throat> so here the hadith says, Muhammad says, he then said to her, do not hurt me regarding Aisha. Did you, do you see it guys? Do you see the text? Muhammad is saying, do not hurt me regarding Aisha. Right? Because they were speaking ill of Aisha. As the divine inspirations do not come to me on any of the beds. Do you see how they are translating it? Thobe garment becomes a bed. <laughs> you know, guys, Thobe. <laughs> Look at this disgusting. They are so, they know, they know that Muhammad was cross-dressing. They are translating Thobe, which means garment. Right? <laughs> As bed. Since when is a garment bed, you idiots, you liars? Look, it says clearly in the thobe of Aisha. So I only did, I went to the Arabic, right? Sorry, the Arabic is down. Uh, I went to the Arabic and, and I took only the Arabic, right? From here down. Right? I only took it from the Arabic and I did Translate it. Look this part here. Look. وَأَنَا فِي ثَوْبِ إِمْرَأَةٍ إِلَّا عَائِشَةٍ This part, do you see it? I did copy-paste. Let me copy it and compare it with what I put in the screen here. Do you see it? Compare it. I only did copy-paste. Look, this is the same. You see it? Compare what I just put in the live chat, guys. Compared with this. وَأَنَا فِي ثَوْبِ إِمْرَأَةٍ إِلَّا عَيْشَةٍ I am in the garment, not bed, there is nothing called bed, of a woman like Aisha, except Aisha. Did you catch it? Do you see how they are doing taqiyya? Do you see why I chose today's topic, guys? Huh? They, they are so ashamed... To be honest, that Muhammad was inside a woman's clothing. In this case, Aisha. He became a cross-dresser. Wow, and they translated to bed. You liars. Why? Why are you such evil liars, man? Since when is a garment a bed, you filthy liars? Filthy liars, man. Shame on you, but we know Muslims have no shame, they have no honor and no dignity. Enten ya muslimin, enten ya muslimin, you have no sheriff. Ma'antkun sheriff. Ma'antkun deen. You are nothing but Muhammadans, you worship Muhammad, you will even lie for Muhammad. Filthy evil liars, man. Filthy evil liars, man. Garment became bad. Filthy liars. Filthy liars. And you Christians here in the West, you ask us why we should, uh, why we should not go easy on them. You are asking me to go easy on these liars and deceivers, man. I have no respect for liars and deceivers. I have no respect for them. I don't have Skype. Download Skype, you idiot. It's only will take you one minute. Refute me. Download Skype on your smartphone. And call me, it will take you only one minute. Put your Hotmail account or Outlook account in it. And you can use it. It's only one minute, man. I don't have Skype, brother. Huh? Lazy idiot. Are you telling me that you're too lazy to defend your prophet in the court of law? We are spanking your prophet and you're too lazy to install Skype. Man, Muhammad, guys, if Muhammad was still alive, I kid you not. If Muhammad was still alive, he would have been ashamed of these Muslims who are not defending him. Shame on you Muslims. But we know you have no shame. This is why you are lying about your Prophet in the translations. Shame on you. Liar! You don't care! Liar! Rob Christian, it doesn't say that, Rob Christian. Yeah, yeah, keep telling yourself that, brother. The truth is out, man. 
It's over for you Muslims. Islam is dying, man. Yeah, even the Muslims have no time for Islam to, to, to defend their prophet, man. Muslims are more busy, you know, watching porn. They are too busy to watch anime. Uh, guys, for some reason, I kid you not. Muhammad said it's ha haram to have pictures in your house, right? Remember the hadith? But Muslims, the youth of today, the Muslims of today, they watch more anime and comics than you and me all together. Yeah, guys, when I was young, I used to watch... Uh, Bleach, you know, it's an anime, Japanese anime, and I used to watch uh, Dragon Ball Z, but it's haram, brother. But the Muslims of today, they watch more anime, Japanese anime, than any of you here. They even quote that nonsense. Right? Yeah, Bleach was amazing, man. I grew up with Bleach and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I'm a human, man. I love anime. But Muhammad said, it's haram to have pictures in your house. But they are watching anime left and right, man. More than you and me. Muslims are crazy about Japanese anime, man. They play uh, Street Fighter, Japanese games, or whatnot. You know. Gatsuga Tensho, yeah. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I love karate, you know, I, I, I'm a guy, you know, I, I love that stuff, man. Yeah, I'm a human being. I, I, you know, I'm, I might be old, but I'm not that old like C. I mean, CP is grandpa. I'm, I'm young, man. Look, look, don't you hear my voice, man? I'm a young kid, man. I could be 16 for all you know, you know. I could be 16, man. 16 year old kid who is destroying Muhammad, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Muhammad you are you a cross dresser brother prophet of Islam cross dresser you cursed yourself and Allah cursed you brother yes brother Allah cursed Muhammad brother right for being a cross dresser putting the clothes of Aisha on him he was inside the garment of Aisha fee thobi Aisha Right inside the thobe of Aisha, the garment of Aisha, not her bed. You liars, stop lying. Now, guys, I have another surprise for you, for the people who maybe don't know it yet. Muhammad is Sahih al Bukhari. Let me give you the link. Muhammad is Sahih al Bukhari. Let me scroll down. This is. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih, Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith number 108, 108, he said the following, narrated Anas, narrated Anas, the fact which stopped me from narrating a great number of Hadith to you is that, Muhammad said, guys, Muhammad said, whoever tells a lie against me intentionally, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. Well, you lied about yourself, Muhammad, so that means you are in hellfire because Allah cursed you. You see how we can use the words of Muhammad against himself in the court of law? So according to his own words, Muhammad is in hellfire because he became a crossdresser and Allah cursed him for it. Right? On top of that, Muslims use the Hafs Quran. Guys, Muslims, the number one, Used Quran version is Hafs, right? We know that, right? Thank you for the super chat, uh, Lisa. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless your loved ones. Thank you for donation, for your amazing support, guys. Thank you so much. Liar! Yeah. That's that's the only thing you got, Firuz? Uh, Firuz. So, guys... Many famous and trustful scholars like Imam al-Bukhari, Imam al-Bukhari, Imam Muslim, his student, right? Sahih al-Bukhari, the same guy from Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, both of them. So both of them and Ahmed ibn Hanbal, very, you know, from the Hanbali sect, right? That Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Al-Nisa'i, which is also from the six books, Al-Nisa'i. Do you know what they said? 
Hafs is not to be trusted. What? Look, they, these are, you know, most trusted scholars of Islam, man. They said Hafs is not to be trusted. He is a liar and all of his hadith is rejected. Matruk, Taraku. Laysa bi thiqa. He is not to be trusted. Matruk al hadith. All of his hadith is rejected. So wait, since they calling him a liar and they rejected hadith because he is a liar, he lied about Muhammad inside the hadith. What did Muhammad say? Whoever tells a lie against me intentionally, and we know how lied about Muhammad intentionally, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. So Muslims who use the Quran of Hafs, they are using the Quran of someone who is in hellfire. Hafs, according to Muhammad, guys, Hafs, according to Muhammad, is in hellfire. Do you see it? So Muslims, why do you use the Quran version of a guy who is now burning in hellfire? Bam! Shame on you Muslims. You call yourself a Muslim? You use the Quran version of a liar and a deceiver? Guys, Havs, for the people who do not know, Havs was a really a liar. Not only a liar, he was also a thief. Why, Rob Christian? He used to borrow books from people. This Havs guy, yeah? He used to borrow books of people. He did not give them back. And he said, these are his books. He's the one who wrote the books. So he, he was a liar. He was a thief and not to be trusted. What's left? What's left? What's left? Hadouken! Yeah. What's left, man? If Muhammad said clearly, if you lie about me, you're going to end in hellfire. You are burning in hellfire. Well, Hafs is burning in hellfire. So why do you use his Quran? Why are you putting your salvation, your faith, in someone who is burning in hellfire. Why Muslims? Wake up man, stop being brainwashed. We can use your own sources against you in the court of law man. Islam is a scam. The Quran of Hafs is scam because he is burning in hellfire. Uh oh. He was a liar. Do so do your homework, man. Firuz, I'm a scam or is Hafs a scam, you idiot? Call me and refute me, man. Hafs was a liar. He lied about Muhammad. And what did Muhammad say? Let him occupy his seat in hellfire, the one who lies about me, right? You see it? Whoever tells a lie against me intentionally, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. Hafs was a liar. His hadith is rejected. He is a thief. What's left? That means he is in hellfire according to the logic of Muhammad. Right, Muslims? Huh? Laysa bi thiqa, not to be trusted. Right? Taraku, guys, waqal al Bukhari. Waqal al Bukhari. Bukhari said, that's Imam Bukhari, yes. Waqal Muslim. Matruk, rejected. He's rejected. He's rejected, said that same guy who wrote Sahih Muslim. Imam Muslim. Imam Bukhari said, Taraku, he is matruk, he is rejected. They rejected his book. Matruk al hadith. Why? Because he's a liar. Because Hafs is a liar. Hafs is rejected completely. 
You see the logic of most guys think with me here. You know that this guy is a liar. You know that he's a thief, right? And not to be trusted. Three, three criteria, a liar, a thief, and not to be trusted because all of his hadith is rejected. He's a liar, all of his hadith is rejected, he's a thief. Why do you put your trust in him regarding the Quran? Didn't Muhammad say, anyone who lies about me, and we know he, why his hadith is rejected, because he lied about the Prophet. So, and he's an hellfire. Why do you put your trust in a liar? Yeah, you have only the Quran of Hafs, you idiot. And some Muslims use the Warsh Quran. But the majority of Sunni Muslims, they even reject. They don't use the, the, uh, the Warsh and the Qalun and the Duri. Only a couple of uh, countries in Africa use Duri, right? Qalun, Warsh. But more than 90% of the Muslim world, they use Hafs. More than 90%. You use Hafs Quran. Ya yeah, Fairuz. Fairuz, listen, Fairuz, Fairuz. I don't hate you, man. I don't hate you. Because I love you, I am spanking you with the truth. This, this is called tough love, man. Tough love. By using my honesty, by using your Quran and your sources and everything that we can find against Hafs and whatnot and the Prophet of Islam, this is called tough love. If I don't love you, I'm not I will not spank you with the truth. And only the truth matters. Uh, Candy says, it's not about only 37 versions. Forget about the 37 versions. Guys, pay attention, please. Are you with me? Our sister Hatun, she did some digging. She went to many Islamic countries. And she found seven different halves versions can you imagine seven different halves versions these seven different halves versions do not agree with one another and they claim that they have only one halves quran you liars because we love you muslims we need to spank you with the truth so that you will need to wake up you need to wake up if I don't love you, I'm not going to share the truth with you. So this is my way of loving you. If I truly love you, I'll, I'll need to use my knowledge, because knowledge is power, to wake you and shake you up. And your shiuch, your imams, cannot do about anything about it, because they know we are telling the truth. They are silent because they know we are telling the truth. Idiots, wake up, man. It's on you. Anyone? Yeah, and not one, uh, Sal John, yes, we have many manuscripts of the Quran, but not one is from Uthman. It's not Uthmanic. Top copy is not Uthmanic. Sana'a manuscript is not Uthmanic. It's not from the 7th century. It's not complete. And it does not agree with the Hafs Quran of today. What? Yes, you heard it correctly. The top copy, the Sana'a, the Samarkand, in Uzbekistan, the Sana'a is in Yemen, top copy is in Istanbul. All of them do not agree of today's with today's house. They are not Uthmanic, not 7th century, and they are not complete. So where is the Quran of Hafs? Where is the Quran of Uthman? It's lost, brother. Lost? Yes, lost. Thank you for the super chat, Tiger J7. Thank you so much. No, you are amazing for being here, man. I'm a nobody, man. You guys are amazing for being here and supporting our work. You don't need me, guys. I need Jesus. I'm a sinner, like, you know, like all of you. All of you need Jesus. I need Jesus. We are nobodies, man. But because our holy God loved us, he sent us his only son. So we can be saved. You Muslims need Jesus too, because Muhammad is dead. He is rotting and Jesus is alive. Hallelujah.
Tiger J, well, it seems that you are too smart to convert to Islam. I salute you, man. At least you respect yourself. You respect your brains. For your girlfriends, man, you see, carnal desires, right? Carnal desires will kill you, man. They will kill your soul. Because if you become a Muslim, your soul is going to die. You will end up in hellfire. What does it mean when a soul dies? It goes to hellfire for eternity. But when you are saved as a Christian, you are born, you are born as a new man. Guys, have you ever seen uh, testimonies of people who become Christians? They become born again Christians? Like that sister uh, the last time from uh, Somalia. Totally new person, man. They become totally new person. They leave Islam, they become new person, in, 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 totally different people, man. From hating, committing sins to new people, peaceful people, not afraid, not scared. Man. <sighs> Crusader General, thank you for the super chat. He says, and I quote, only total morons and cowards believe in Islam. Yeah, that's true. Persecuted.ct said, thank you for the super chat. Muslims check yourself from Quran not your Imam yes you have to do your own homework don't listen to these liars and deceivers called the Imam who mistranslate hadith and Quran exactly they lie to you search for the truth yourself exactly bro don't take RC's word for granted exactly maybe I'm lying go check the sources out yourself maybe Rob Christian is lying who knows Allah right Allah knows best thanks RC keep exposing this code thank you my friend JJJ in, in the super chat says, How I wish Filipino Muslims call you RC and be spanked. They are very good in deceiving. Praying for more blessing to your family and the channel. Thank you, my friend. God bless you too. Thank you so much, guys. Any Muslim? God bless your families. Thank you for your support, man. I, I am out of words, man. I'm really, guys, without you guys, we cannot share the information, share the truth about this evil, deceptive, lying cult. It's all about deception. It's all about taqiyya. Lying and deception. We smile in the face of some people, as Sahabi said, although our hearts curse them. It's nothing but a religion of deception and taqiyya, man. So Muslims, why do you need why do you need to lie all the time? Because you follow not Deen al-Haq. You don't follow the religion of truth. You follow, you know what you follow? The religion of deception and taqiyya. That's what you follow. That's it. That's it. You have nothing. You are bankrupt. This is why you resort to lying and deception. That's why. Uh, Said, what I know you are, I know who you are, I know, I know, I know. You are that idiot that I debated before, Ali Mirza, right? You are that one, I know. You, you still hurt because I spanked you left and right. It's you, I know, it's you, I know. You have more names like uh, that uh, idiot, that, that donkey, and I'm not trying to insult any real donkey, uh, ultimate uh, donkey, that guy. Yes. Brain dead people, man. Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to refute me? JJJ in the super chat says, Truth is the number one enemy of Islam. Exactly, bro. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, the volume of Alif Mod. Thank you to, for the super chat too. Thank you, guys. I don't care who these people are, man. Uh, we are spanking them. They, they can't handle the truth. They are triggered. They are triggered, man. I mean, if I was a brain dead Abdul and I would see someone like Rob Christian spanking my prophet left and right, showing everybody that Muhammad was nothing but a cross dresser, right? Proving it with actual proof that Muhammad was a cross dresser. He was wearing Aisha's garment and he said, everyone who, who wears, you know, he dresses like a, a man dresses like a woman, then he's cursed. Maybe he, may he cur be cursed. Then Muhammad cursed himself because, you know, 
He didn't even follow his own sunnah, man. The drag queen prophet of Islam. Muslims are triggered, man. Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Hello? Uh, guys, since we are out of Muslims, Muslims don't care to defend their prophet. Let me open the line for our friends. I know that uh, <clears throat> our dear brother Christian Prince is going to go live in around, let's say, 45 minutes. So we have still 40 minutes to accept calls. So if you want to call us, go ahead. The line is open, Christians. Now you are allowed to be, to call us. You know, I really wish that a Muslim would stand up and defend his cross-dressing prophet. But they are too scared. They know it's, it's, it's true. They know. They know it's true. Thank you for the super chat, the volume of Elif Moth. Thank you so much. Tiger J7. Thank you, guys. All of you. Hey, brother Alexander. How are you, my friend? Hi, brother Rob. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm having fun with uh, Muhammad, proving that he's yes. nothing but uh, he's a drag queen, man. Me too, me too. I enjoy your show. Today's show is very, very good. Okay. Brother, I have uh, two hadiths for today's topic. Yeah. Uh, it's both both are uh, sahih. And the first is from Sunan al uh, It was narrated from Abdullah, the messenger of Allah said, it's not permissible to shed blood of a Muslim, mm -hmm. except in one of three cases, a soul for a soul, an adulterer who has been married, and one who separates leaving his religion. Mm -hmm. My question is, uh, the story with Maria the Copt, he was married, correct? With her? No, 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 no. He was no, not no, no, no. With, no. with, with, uh, with Hafsa. Yes, he was married to Hafsa. Hamid was married, and he become an adulterer. Yeah, it was. So, the story goes like this, my friend. Just for the people that they know, what they can follow what you say. The story goes like this. It was the day of Hafsa, right? It was her day, her turn for. for so Muhammad would stay with her in her house. Muhammad gave uh, days for every woman, right? That he uh, he was married to. So it was yes. Hafsa's day. And he asked Hafza to go get him something. When she came back home, Hafza, his wife, she found out that he was having sex with her Coptic slave, Maria al Coptia, in the bed of Hafza herself. And Hafza said, in my bed? On my day? How dare you? It's my okay. day. You have sex with my slave in my bed. And remember, Maria al Coptia was given to him as a gift. She was not booty. She was not war booty. So she was not a sex slave, a captured slave from war. That's different. Else it was for him halal to have sex with her. Since Maria al Qubtiya was given as a gift, it was haram for him to sleep with her. So what did Muhammad say? When Hafsa went, she went to Aisha and they came back. Aisha and Hafsa came back and they started to question him. They start to spank him. What have you done? How dare you, right? Committing adultery with the slave, Maria al yes. So yes, right. then he says, I'm, I will stop. He took an oath. He swear I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore. He was busted for committing adultery. He said, I'm not going to do it anymore. Later, Allah sends an ayah down and he makes it halal for him. Wait, there's nothing fishy going on? <laughs> yes, but that means Muhammad deserves the death. According yes. to according to the laws of uh, Allah, mm. for all humans, Muhammad is a human. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad deserves the death, but yeah. instead Can you of, read the hadith, my friend, just to be sure for the people who just joined? Read the hadith yes. again, bro. Yes, it was narrated from Abdullah that the messenger of Allah said, it yeah. is not permissible to shed the blood of a Muslim except in one of three cases. Yeah. A soul for a soul, an adulterer who has been married, and one who separates leaving his religion. That means yeah. Yeah. instead of death yeah. for Muhammad, Muhammad changed the Quran and the laws of mm -hmm. uh, Allah. Muhammad but knew, only, he busted but, but himself, only right? for, yeah. But only for himself. Yeah. But only for himself. Yeah, exactly. Muhammad okay. committed adultery. He took an oath, I'm not going to do it anymore, right? Later, he knows he's busted, he's, you know, people can kill him. He's a Muslim, people can kill him, right? People yes. became mad, what have you done? 
So to help his penis out, <laughs> to help his penis out, God Allah, changed the law. <laughs> Allah, Allah, Allah sends an ayah down. Allah make Quran. Uh, no, no, it's become halal, brother. And if you, two wives, right? Allah says, if you, Hafsa and Aisha, are still going to bother Muhammad, all the Muslims, all the angels, including Jibreel, and Allah Himself will stand with him against you and he will get better wives than you. Imagine, these wives are the ones who busted him. They know he's committed adultery. He says, I'm not going to do it anymore. Instead of Allah punishing him, killing him, right? You see the proof is in front of you. Muhammad should be killed for becoming yes. an adulterer. To help himself out, to not to be killed, he, you know, he, uh, he, he uh, fabricates an ayah. And all, suddenly Allah, instead of punishing him, no, he stands with him to defend him. Wow, what a, what a religion. D clearly, we can conclude that Islam is created for the penis of Muhammad by Muhammad himself with his own hand. It's nothing but fabrication, man. Yes, so, yes. You see how and damaging the, this is, guys? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and the second hadith, brother, is also a Sahih hadith uh, from Jami at Timidi. Mm -hmm. Asama bin uh, Yazid narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, It is not lawful to lie except in three cases something mm -hmm. that the man tells his wife to please her, mm -hmm. to lie during war, and to lie in order to bring peace between the people. Yeah. So I discussed so many times with Muslims, and mm -hmm. every Muslim say to me, These three cases are not takia. Yeah. So that means there are four cases, mm -hmm. Takiya and this three. So every yeah. Muslim gets his own prophet busted. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So is this, is this true? Takiya is not, uh, these three cases is not Takiya. These three cases is separate from Takiya. Yeah, well, that's what they claim. But we know, we know, we know. What's left, my friend? If you can lie already <laughs> yes. in this, what's left? Yes, you are not. What's the it's love? Where's the love? What is the love? I mean, we, we already explained this in the beginning of our live show. You know, we mentioned the three cases. I mean, what's, what's left if you are allowed to lie to even your loved ones? You are allowed to lie to your wife. I mean, let's say you, you, let's say my friend, you, you work, right? We are work, hardworking men. God forbid you go to your work, you work 20 hours a day, right? Maybe you live in mm -hmm. a very uh, poor country. And your wife is sleeping around with someone else behind your back. You don't know about it. You come home, you allow your wife to keep her marriage with you good, healthy. She's going to lie to you and say, Habibi, Habibi, how was your work today, Habibi? Well, she's effing behind your back all day long with another man. To use a white lie, they call it a white lie, brother. To keep the marriage healthy. True love story, man. True love yes. story. Yes. And the best, the best except. The best example for for the the case that uh, Quran is uh, from man made from Muhammad is uh, you say a few minutes ago the the sentence uh, we are the worst of the creatures. Yeah. yeah. How dare Muhammad to insult the creation of Allah? Yeah. Who are you to call us this man? How dare yes, you? We we, we are the, we are the creation of according to Islam we are the creation of Allah. Exactly. But uh, there are two points. Either Allah calls his own creation the worst of his creation, so mm. that means he makes a wrong creation, or Muhammad is insulting the creation of Allah. Yeah, exactly. And my friend, it's, you know, the most de devastating thing is Muslims, you know, they, they, they don't do use their brains. Watch what Al-Bukhari said. That Al-Hasan said, the taqiyya, Right, taqiyya and deception, Mekr, on behalf of Islam is allowed until the day of the resurrection. So as a Muslim, you are allowed to use Mekr and taqiyya till the last day, till the last hour. Can you imagine what kind of filthy, disgusting, deceptive and taqiyya and lie and Mekr deception religion this is? Can you imagine? They are allowed to lie until the last hour. Wow! Yes, yeah. yes, and we know we know the the only the only true deceiver, the only real true deceiver is the devil. Yeah, and that means Allah so, allowing them to lie. That means Allah is Satan. 
Yes, but did you notice uh, in the Quran uh, says he is the best of the deceivers, mm -hmm. exactly in the same way uh, which says uh, he is the best of the creators. <laughs> yeah. Did you, not, did you, you know? notice this? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Wamakaro, wamakaro, wamakaro. Sorry, wamakaro, wamakara. Allah, wamaka. Wallahu khairul makarin. So they deceived. Wamakaro, wamakara. Allah. Allah deceived, wa Allah and Allah is khairul makarin. Allah is the best of deceivers. So Allah yeah. is proud, Allah is proud to say, I am the best deceiver, brother. Nobody else is better than my deception. I have the best deception. I am the best of the best deceiver. I am Satan, uh, sorry, I'm Satan, yeah. He wanted to say I'm Satan, but you know, he stopped yes. here, all right? He, stopped. He, should, he should continue, I am Satan himself. Brother, I noticed in the chat uh, is uh, Shia Muslims with uh, maybe black or yellow shoes. He want to discuss with you Shia <laughs> Islam. So <laughs> yeah, and do we have I, any Shia Muslim? Do we have any Shia Muslim? Yes, this Said Hashim <laughs> Al Shah Al Hassani. Maybe yeah. he has black shoes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I I will let him to call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for calling. It's always <laughs> funny to talk to you, bro. Keep calling me. I, I thank enjoy you, brother. Having... God bless you. God bless you, brother. God bye bless bye. you. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> the yellow shoe gang, yeah. Any yellow shoe Shia here? Any uh, Sunni? Any Sunni Muslim? Any Shia Muslim? Anyone? Who has the courage and the knowledge to call us? My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Call me. Call me, man. Muslims. Yalla, yalla, ya khwan. Yalla, bina, yalla. Yalla, yalla. Yalla, bina, yalla. Yalla, yalla. Eh, al umma di, ya ammi. Eh, al halawi di, ya ammi. Deen al haq? Why are you not uh, defending Deen al haq, brother? The religion of truth. Defend it. We are spanking it. Do something about it, man. Uh, yeah, Muslim wolf, Muslim wolf. Deception is not, uh, it's not evil. <laughs> Guys, deception is not evil. No. Deceiving someone is not evil, brother. Only in Islam, brother. Only in Islam, deceiving people, deceiving someone is not evil. Only in Islam. And only in Islam. 35 minutes, yeah. No problem, right? Debit, right? Do we have more calls, guys? Do we have more calls maybe from Christians? You know, Christians are not scared. You see, Christians call. What about the Muslims? Uh, if we have more Christians who wants to call, go ahead. The line is open, guys. Christians, you are allowed to call us too. All right? Ima Sima Tupang, God be with you. May Jesus, his peace be with you and your family. We have a call. Hello? Hello, hi. Yeah, hello. You're live on air, sir. How are you, brother? I'm good. Welcome. Actually, I have uh, I have two two hadiths related to today's topic. Topic. Mm -hmm. I have to apologize for my accent again. No, <laughs> I my friend. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you're the one who called me last time, right? If I'm not yeah. mistaken. Welcome, my friend. Uh, God bless you. God bless you, too. So, for in uh, Jami al Tirmidhi. Yeah. 2712. What does it say? See, uh, 2712. Mm -hmm. What does it say, my friend? Uh, it's uh, in English, it says that the Prophet prohibited them from returning to the women uh, from a journey during the night. This is mm -hmm. the English translation. Yeah. But the Taqiyya, where you see what you see here, the Taqiyya, they didn't translate the Arabic. <laughs> what else? Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Arab, the Arabic it says وَقَدْ رَوَى عَنْ إِبْنِ عَبَّاسِ أَنَّ النَّبِي صَلَعَمْ نَهَاهُمْ أَنْ يَطْرُقُوا النِّسَاءِ لِأَلَّا لَيْلًا قَالَ فَطَرَقَ رَجُلًا بَعْدَ نَهِيَ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم فَوَجَدَ كُلُّ وَاحِدٍ مِنْهُمَا مع امرأته رَجُلًا yeah. So they didn't translate why he prohibited them from, from uh, Yeah, because the Arabic text is much longer, exactly 
So yeah, because because yeah. two of two of the men they refused to obey uh, obey him. So yeah. they came back to their women and they find another man with their women. Yeah, exactly. I know that hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so they are. Right. So are you saying, my friend, that the Muslim women used to sleep around? When yeah. the when the Sahaba used to go and fight, let's say fight with Muhammad in a war or something, and they came back and they see that their wives are committing adultery with someone else, right? And, yeah, and he prohibited yeah. the husband from returning to his home. He yeah. said, "No, before you go to his home, you should tell her your wife before. If yeah. there is someone, you can leave." Exactly. Wow. <laughs> so it, it's silly, man. Yeah. And you know is- anything that is too ashamed? I kid you not. This is the hadith. Let me put. I think that I got the right hadith in front of me. You know, everything that is shameful, they are not going to translate it. Can yeah. you see the screen, my friend? Can you see the screen? Yeah. But, Jama yeah. Tirmidhi narrated Jabir, right? That the Prophet yeah, that, prohibited them. Yeah. You see, they only uh, translated a small part of it. Why? But Why did you? you look how long. Look how long <laughs> the Arabic text is, right? Uh, yeah. They are ashamed, man. Yeah, yeah they, they translated one line and you have like, uh, how many lines do you have? In yeah, Arabic? look, look how, how, look the long text. They, they are yeah. too ashamed to, unstra- to translate it. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, and yeah. they came home and they, you know, they didn't listen to Muhammad. Imagine, my friend, everything, yeah. my friend, did I lie? Yeah. Did I lie when I said everything that come out of the mouth of Muhammad is divine inspiration? Did I lie? It's satanic. It's satanic. The, yeah, it uh, says. <laughs> yeah. وَهُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيًا يُوحَى Right? Yeah, in, yeah, he's وَهُوَ only, Yeah, he's, he's only, he's only the, uh, getting divine revelation. So everything he, he speaks, yeah. when the moment he speaks, it's Allah speaking basically, right? It's divine yeah, yeah. revelation from Allah. If, so if, if Muhammad says something, why are you not listening to Muhammad, right? Yeah. It's divine revelation. Are you saying that these people are calling Muhammad a scumbag? Anyway, so they, they didn't listen to him and they went and they saw that there are women are sleeping around with different men. Yeah, they know it's, it's uh, he's insane, man. It's yeah, because yeah, of that, yeah. they didn't listen to him. Yeah, they didn't, exactly. And no one is listening to him now, even in our days. If they wanted to follow the Sunnah, they they will, they will live in, they will live in, they would be living in the 7th yeah. century. Yeah. Uh, I have another hadith. It's في باب قتل كعب الأشراف أو كعب بالأشراف. What does it say in English? Kaab ibn al-Ashraf, sorry. Yeah. Kaab, Kaab ibn al-Ashraf, yeah. The yeah. one who they killed, right? Kaab if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. They killed yeah. him, right? Yeah, that guy, yeah. Haddathana Ali ibn Abdullah, Haddathana Sufyan, Qala Amr, wa samatu Jabir ibn Abdullah, blah, blah, blah. So mm-hmm. when you go, when you go in Arabic, I'm reading in Arabic. Yeah. It's in, it's Sahih al-Bukhari, 4037. Mm-hmm. So... What does it say in what, English so I can put it on the screen? It says in just a minute. Yeah. Take your time. Uh, so then allow me allow me to say a false thing. I e deceive God. The Prophet said you may say. You may say it. Mm, yeah? Yeah, you may say. It. So okay. I I will yeah. Uh, so here in in Arabic it says فقال محمد بن مسلمه فقال يا رسول الله اتحب ان اقتله فقال نعم قال فاذن لي ان اقول ان اقول شيئا قال قل in english it says it says exactly what is that what does that mean it, it, it says uh, the, that man said to the prophet allow me to say false things yeah. about you so i can approach the man approach the man and then kill him yeah lie yeah lie to you know to Allah, basically Allah. deceive yeah. him and then kill him you know and he killed him yeah 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 and he killed him and then muhammad uh, told him yeah of course you may do it yeah. <laughs> the story uh, of uh, kaab ibn al ashraf is very very famous yeah. in islam right so yeah, the guy guys look what's happening in a nutshell guys what this uh, dear brother of ours is saying the hadith saying that there is a guy his name is kaab ibn al ashraf right he was an enemy of muhammad he, uh, he knew Muhammad is a scam. And uh, Muhammad want, basically wanted to kill him, right? And the, the Sahabi, the companion of Muhammad, he said to Muhammad, are you allowing me to go and deceive him? And then, you know, by deceiving him, he doesn't know that I'm going to kill him. Muhammad said, it's okay, go ahead. And he deceived him and he killed him. He put a sword in his, uh, in his back, basically. Yeah. 
Yeah, he went. He went to to that man, and here yeah. it's, it's like he started to lie about Muhammad. Yeah, and not lie, but he yeah he started expose to expose him. Yeah, like yeah, like, like Rob Christian. Episode, yeah. Imagine yeah. you know, Rob Christian is or Christian Prince of or David Wood are spanking Muhammad by showing the truth about Muhammad, the true face of the liar and deceiver scammer Muhammad. Muhammad yeah. wants me dead. What Muhammad wants Christian Prince dead or David Wood, and he he wants someone to kill him. So what does uh, uh, a friend of Muhammad, a Sahabi of Muhammad, says to Muhammad, allow me to go and kill him, but am I allowed to deceive him first so that he does not know that I'm going to kill him? Muhammad says, yeah, yeah. it's okay, man. It's halal, brother. Halal, brother. So he went and he deceived him and he killed him. The guy didn't know that he's going mm -hmm. to kill him from behind, you know, put a, yeah. a knife in his bag. Yeah, of course. Um, or, or in his chest, whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, in the Sunnah, they have three or four kinds of taqiyya. They have the taqiyya, they have ma'arid and tawriya. Yeah, tawriya also. Yeah, yeah tawriya and yeah. ma'arid. Yeah. And Shia, they have taqiyya. They, here you may, uh, you can read that the Shia. They have many tastes, right? Like, for example, you go and want to have an ice cream. You have uh, maybe, uh, you yeah. know, f fruity, fruity ones or maybe chocolate ones or, uh, you know, all kind of tastes. So the yeah. <laughs> deception and, and, and lies in Islam has, has many different tastes. Can you imagine, guys, many different flavors <laughs> to pick from? <laughs> Bro, imagine you are married to your wife. You're a Muslim. You are married to your wife. Yeah. Right? You have a wife. Sorry, you have a wife. No, go, I'm not. Yeah, yes. let's say, let's oh, yeah. say. Uh, Imagine. Uh, right? God yeah. forbid. <laughs> God, God forbid. Yeah. You are working for 20 hours a day. You are, you are a poor man. You need to, to get money to, you know, you have children, you have a wife. You need to yeah. give them money, you know, so they can live, so they can yeah. eat. So imagine you're working for 20 hours. Yeah. You don't know that your wife, who is sitting at home, she's sleeping behind your back, like, like the story that you mentioned in the hadith. You, she, mm -hmm. she is sleeping around with different men. Every day she's effing maybe 20 guys. You come home and she says, Habibi, Habibi, Prophet, or Habibi, Habibi, uh, uh, my friend, I, today I make delicious food for you. But he, she's not telling you that she was getting effed by uh, 20, uh, 20 guys behind your back. Yeah. To make, to make, to keep the, the, the marriage healthy, she's allowed to do a white lie. They call it a white lie. Yeah. Right? To mm -hmm. keep the marriage healthy, bro. But at the same time, she's effing, you know, she's doing orgy, sexual yeah. orgy behind your back. Can you imagine? Yeah, we are, we are not Habibi. saying that the Muslim women are like that. But yeah. we are, are we're saying, not saying this, that. This. We're giving you yeah. uh, an example. Yeah, we, We're not yeah. calling uh, Muslim women whores, guys. Don't yeah. put words yeah. in our mouth, right, guys? No, most, of them, most of them we're are giving an example, right? very nice people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. giving you an example. So they are allowed, perfect. right? They are allowed, right? They are allowed yeah, to lie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they are allowed to lie. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. to keep to, to keep their uh, their family, for example. Yeah, exactly, to... exactly like the picture that you see here. Exactly, do you see yeah. the screen, my friend? I put a yeah. picture on the screen. A guy, you know, maybe this guy or his wife, uh, you know, yeah. Allahu alam. Allah knows what they what they did, but yeah. you know, let let me lie, give a white lie. They call it a white lie to keep mm. the marriage uh, good, brother. You know. Yeah. Habibi, brother, you, what do you want me to make you food for you today, brother? Shish kebab or falafel or maybe hummus on the side, brother? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, yeah. it's, uh, it's bad. Thank you again for your ministry and God Thank bless you. Thank you, my friend. It's, it's amazing. Keep calling me, my friend. Your input is amazing. You know, to, to barbecue I... this nasty, this evil sex and death cult called Islam. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Have a good day. God, God bless, bless you. you. Salam al Masih, Habibi. Bye bye. Salam al Masih, Ahmad. Bye. That's what we say uh, among ourselves, Christians, guys. Salam. Let me teach you something. Salam al Masih. Peace of Christ. That's what we Arabic speaking Christians say to one another. Salam al Masih. Because Jesus is the peace. He is the peace giver, right? Salam al Masih. Glory to his name, the name above all names. You see, even Salam, the word Salam, they stole it from us, guys. Assalamu alaikum. They stole it from us. Where's the peace of Islam? Show me the peace of Islam, man. So Muhammad even stole Salam from us. From who? From Jesus himself, man. Even the word Salam, they, they, they stole it from us. 
Shalom, salam. Yes, oh, it's, it's our word, man. They stole everything. Right? What did they not steal? Any more callers, guys? Or because I know Christian Prince is going to go live uh, in around 24 minutes, to be exact. Maybe we can take one call, <clears throat> one more call, or maybe two calls. So, okay, we have a Shia, I think a Shia boy. I think I spoke to him before. Hello? Hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, is my mic good? Yeah, it's good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, I'm a Shia. Yeah, yeah you're a Shia. Welcome. Uh, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Um, Regarding the hadith about Aisha, la'anatullahi alayhi. And can you can you, can you translate what you just said? Um, may Allah remove her mercy. May Allah no. remove his mercy from. Yeah, may Allah right. curse her, right? So, guys, we have a Shia here who is cursing Aisha. Did you hear it? Lanat Allah ala Aisha. So he's cursing Aisha. Why are you cursing the mother of the believers? Go ahead. Because she her she has no, there, she has no uh, fadail. Yeah. I can. My friend, I have a question. I have always asked myself this very question. In Sunni Islam, we can find in the Sunni, Sunni sources that Aisha is called Humaira. Humaira. What does that mean according to Shia Islam when Muhammad called Aisha Humaira? Is it actually the red one or is it the donkey? It's the red one. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Please. You want me to play a video clip from Yasser al-Habib who's calling her donkey? Guys, we have a oh, she sheikh. Oh, is it Yasser al-Habib that calls Yeah, him? Yasser al-Habib. Then it's the donkey then, yeah. Yeah, it's donkey. Oh, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> so Humaira, guys, look look at this comedy. Humaira, according to Shia, she's called Humaira. According to Shia, she's called a donkey. But according to the Sunni, she's called the red one. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're funny, bro. <laughs> so why why uh, why are you cursing Aisha? Why are you cursing Omar and Abu Bakr? Why are you calling them Bakris? I am interested. <laughs> it's because these these men are cowards. Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, they were all cowards. Do you, believe, even... uh, do you believe that they also uh, poisoned Muhammad? Because I think Shia Muslims believe that Aisha and Hafza they are the ones under the command of Bak Abu Bakr. They are the ones who poisoned Muhammad, right? Mm -hmm. How did they do that? Can you tell us? Uh, I mean, I've been thinking about researching this topic. I haven't really researched it that well. But obviously, Sheikh Yasir al-Habib, Hafizullah, yeah. does a um, good series called Aisha, the Prophet Killer. Yeah. And Instead of, you know, the story goes like this. Let me help you, my friend. I know the story. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing this for long. The story goes like this. According to Shia Islam, guys, according to their sources, uh, when Muhammad was ill, right? Muhammad became very ill in the, in the last three years of his life. According to Shia, Hafza and Aisha under the command of Abu Bakr, because Abu Bakr wanted to steal the power of Muhammad, right? He wanted to become the first caliph instead of Ali, mm -hmm. right? I'm, I'm correct till now, right? Yep. Okay, so Abu Bakr told Aisha, his daughter, because Abu Bakr is the father of Aisha, and Hafza, the other wife of Muhammad, to poison Muhammad by giving him, instead of medicine, instead of giving him medicine, he told them, his wives of Muhammad, to give him poison. So they were poisoning Muhammad all the time. And this is how Muhammad was killed. Right, my friend? Mm hmm Okay. Continue. Um, so yeah, I, I think the whole thing about <laughs> Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, receiving wahi from <laughs> <laughs> the the cloth of Aisha, I think you know it's a massive lie there. Yeah, that's you don't believe stupid. in it, right? You don't believe la, 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 la. it. La. You reject the hadith, right? Because it's it's not a Shia hadith, I know. <laughs> it's but also my friend, when you see when you are a Shia, right? When you mm -hmm. see a hadith about this from Sayyid al Bukhari, right? And it's on the screen. That Muhammad, you know, Muhammad said, I don't receive divine revelation. It does not come to me only when I'm in the garment of a woman <laughs> like Aisha. Can you can you translate what I'm saying? You know Arabic, right? Uh yeah, a bit, yeah. Can you translate? Wa fi thawbi imra'atin illa Aisha. What is Muhammad saying according to Sahih al Bukhari? I think it's I don't and I What, what is thawb? Believe. Okay, let us do baby step. What is thawb? Uh, clothing. Clothing, garment, right? 
Imra'a. Yeah. What is Imra'a? Is that is that like a command? Imra'a, no, woman. Woman, right? Oh, right, right. Yeah. Imra, Imra'atin. Illa Aisha, except that of Aisha. Aisha. Yeah. Except, so yeah. here we have an honest Muslim. So why, you know, the Sunnis, because they are ashamed, they are ashamed, they are mistranslating it, and they make thawb, they are making it into the bed. Can you imagine what they do? They use, they say only Shia do taqiyah, but at the same time, they are the one using taqiyah, they are mistranslating thawb of a woman, right? Yeah. Garment of a woman, they translate it to bed of a woman. Can you imagine? <laughs> Since when it becomes thobe, a piece of clothing, a bed. Try not to get crazy, my God. Try not to get oh, crazy. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how people could, could ever think that uh, is the truth. Like, you may have your disagreements. Yeah, about bro, my, look what they are doing to what? their prophet. They are calling their prophet a cross-dresser. Can you imagine, guys? That's what Sunni do. And these are the 90% of Islam. They are calling their own prophet a cross-dresser. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they call you kafir. They call Oh, that's yeah. Catherine, they don't even know what's in the books. Yeah. But my friend, why, oh. are you, why are you a Shia Muslim? That's what I'm interested about. Uh, well, obviously I was born as a Shia. But okay. I never really uh, knew much as a kid. So mm. I just kind of researched about both Sunni and Shia. And obviously yeah. I, picked with, uh, I picked the Shia. Uh, I picked the Shia tariq. Okay. Um, Okay. So yeah, but I wasn't I wasn't brought up like with a very religious upbringing. It was just like a very religious one, and uh, um, I was just finding out for myself. Yeah. Well, my friend, I have I have a, a Shia hadith. It says, if you don't wear a, wear yellow shoes, if let's say you wear what kind of uh, yeah, I know this, honest, I know this hadith. yeah, I know this if hadith. you don't wear yellow shoes, and it's from the most authentic sources of Shia. If you don't wear yellow shoes. That means you uh, you will get a limp penis. Your penis will not become strong, mm -hmm. and all kind of other things. What do you think about this hadith? Is it lying? It's is well. So so I'm Akhbari. Yeah. Um, I was once Usuli. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the Alim Rijal, and uh, I don't know. I, I I honestly can't tell you if it's wrong or true. I'm not. I'm trying to be. Well, it's headed, from it's it's from the most authentic. Source, my friend. Yeah, Don't you know? know. Let me put it on the screen. Let me put it on the screen for people. Furu al Kafi, guys. This is Furu al Kafi. The basically the Sahih Bukhari of Islam, uh, Shia Islam, right? Furu al Kafi, chapter shoe colors, Hadith number twelve thousand. Guys, do you see it? Hadith number twelve thousand five hundred ninety-one. It says, "I entered on Abu Abdullah wearing a right. black shoe, and he said." Why are you wearing a black shoe? Did you not know that are three characteristics in it? The narrator said, I said, what are they? So he is, uh, he's asking, what are they? What are those three? May I be your ransom? He said, it weakens your vision. So you, you, your eyes, if you, don't, if you wear black shoe, you, you cannot see correctly. It loosens your penis. So your penis becomes limp. It will not become hard and it will give you depression. So from now on, stop wearing black shoes and yellow, wear only yellow shoes. Because when you wear yellow shoes only, it sharpens the vision and it strengthens the penis. So the penis becomes hard, brother, and it puts away the depression. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, man. Uh, don't you think that Shia is even more worse than Sunni? Honest, mm, honest, no. honest. La, la, la. On. Oh, la, la, la. Come on, no. bro. Bro, come on. You cannot no. be serious that there is a human being who believes this nonsense in 2020. And this is from the most authentic Shia source. This is basically the uh, Sahih Bukhari of, of Shia, man. This is Al-Kafi. I know. Okay, so... Honestly, oh. brother, I can't tell you whether, whether this is a right hadith or okay. an okay. incorrect hadith. No problem. No. But you see, this, there's a mistake. Here's, we have a, a disaster, right? We can agree on that, right? Hmm. I, I mean, I no normal, no I normal human be uh, being should believe that only the color of a shoe will make your penis. I mean, uh, you, you should see my shoe collection, man. I have all kind of different colors, but I love black shoes. But my friend, uh, my wife, to be honest, my wife doesn't complain, man. I, I, uh, my wife is even pregnant. I like to wear black shoes. So clearly, this is a lie. Hmm. Don't you wear, 
Honestly, don't you wear black shoes? Uh, yeah, Come I on. do. You do. But mm -hmm. you have no issues, right? You're healthy. It seems that you're a healthy uh, young man. Mm -hmm. So, come on, man. <laughs> All right, but I can't. I honestly, uh, I can't really tell you. <laughs> it's, okay, about my that. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, thank you for calling, my friend. Uh, um, I, I really hope that one day you will leave Islam and accept Jesus. I really hope because God cannot. Come on, man. You know, I really invite you to become a Christian. What's this holding you of leaving Islam with this kind of nonsense? Sunni Muslims calling Muhammad a crossdresser. Shia Muslims from their most authentic source saying that if you don't wear uh, yellow shoes, your penis will stop working. C come on, man. What kind of nonsense is this a religion? Please leave, leave Muhammad, man, and come back home to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I invite you right here, right now. What do you think? Uh... <laughs> I'm not asking a very good question. Come on, <laughs> come on. I know, I know, I know. You're not a real Muslim. I know. You're, you're already laughing about it, man. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, like, be um, honest, be honest, be honest. Come on, come on. I mean, could you? You just you could, laughed. You just laughed, man. Nah, you're I mean, laughing like, about it, man. Come on. Come nah, on. I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, Islam. Uh, yalla, yalla, you can do it, Akhi. You can do it. Say, I'm and I, like and I, and I, I'm going to kill Islam. Yalla, say it. <laughs> You're laughing. Come on, you're already out of Islam, man. Come on. No, 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 man. Um, if People, you just, like, look, look at the chat, man. They are, they are laughing with you. They, they, you know, they are, they are, they are saluting you. They know, they know deep in your heart. They know deep in your heart you're already left Islam because you, you're not going to tell me that you, that you're believing in your most authentic sources like this one here. That yellow mm -hmm. shoe will soften your, uh, sorry, black shoe will soften your uh, penis, man. Come on. I mean. Say it, say uh, it, say it out loud. I know in your heart you already left. Say it out loud. Come on. Bro, I'm not going hadith, to bite you. Nobody I mean, is going I mean, to bite. I hadith. You. I mean, hadith, bro. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a bit of an iffy subject. If you could like disprove my my whole belief system. Okay, okay. Forget yeah. about hadith. You believe in the Quran, right? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not a Qurani, obviously. I, I will take a hadith, but like, uh, okay, what I mean is like, if you could disprove okay. like stuff like wilaya, stuff like that, then I'll yeah. Okay, I have a question for you. Let's forget mm -hmm. about this hadith about the yellow shoes that can soften your. You know, make your penis hard, you know. What about uh, uh, bees? Do you know how bees make honey? Um, yeah. Yeah. What, uh, can you explain how bees make honey? If Did you so, go to school? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Uh, no, no, but I sit at home all the time. No, I'm okay. joking. Well, so basically, according, according to the Quran, if we go to chapter 16, I, uh, 69, chapter 16, I, 69, according to the Quran, bees poop out honey. Do you believe that? Do you believe the Quran, my friend? Do you believe that bees, they poop out honey? Do you believe in that? Do you actually mm. believe that when you cut I a mean, bee into half, it has honey in its stomach? Or did Muhammad lie in his Quran? I mean, come on, you, you, you're, you went to school, you sound like a uh, smart kid, right? Come on, mm -hmm. don't tell me that you believe that bees poop out honey. Honey, man! According to the Quran, chapter 16, it says, there comes forth from their bellies a drink, a drink. When we ask ourselves, what is this drink that mankind drinks? Because it's talking about men, right? Healing for men. That means it's honey. But wait, according to modern science, bees have no honey inside their stomach. They collect nectar, right? They go to flower, from flower to flower. They collect nectar and they mix the nectar inside their stomach with an enzyme, they call it the B enzyme. It's like a thing in their body, right? Th this becomes a mixture and a bee, a worker bee, which is a female bee, she vomits in an, on another bee's mouth. They keep mixing the nectar and the enzyme, mix, mix, mix. Later they go to the hive, they drop it inside the honeycombs and they use their wings, right? To make it from 70% hydration they drop it to 20%. So after a lot of process, outside the body of the bee, this drink, you know, becomes honey. So it's bees, in other words, Allah is wrong. This is Quran, this is Allah, right? Allah is wrong. There's, in a nutshell, there is nothing called Allah. This is only fabrication by Muhammad, right? Because we know that bees do not poop out honey. So what is the verse called? An-Nahl? Yeah, chapter al-Nahl, ayah 69, my friend. Chapter al-Nahl, 
chapter 16, ayah 69. It says, there comes forth from the bellies a drink. And that drink is for men, so it's honey. But wait, that's not true. Bees do not poop out honey. So this already proves, this, 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 this eye on itself proves that Muhammad is a liar. I mean, honeydew is the thing. Sorry? Honeydew. So basically, what honeydew is, honeydew is um, a type of honey that is secreted from the uh, anus of an aphid. My friend, we're talking about bees. This is talking about bees. Hmm. My friend, show me any, any modern scientist today. Tell him this, that bees poop out honey. He will laugh at you, man. It seems that the Muslims, when they went and took biology class, they were either sleeping during the class or they skipped biology classes. Because no human being, no smart human being believes that bees poop out honey. Honey is made much later outside the bees' bellies. Right? Okay, but, but, but honeybees and stingless bees and stuff like that, they also use this sort of honeydew. They also produce honeydew honey. My friend, outside, outside their body, outside, outside the body of bees. Because in their body you have only nectar, the collected nectar, together with the enzyme. Let me put it in the chat for the people who do not know. So they mix the nectar inside their mouth and the, in their stomach with the enzyme, right? It's an enzyme, bee enzyme. So it's basically a, a stuff that is only inside the bee itself. So by mixing the nectar and the enzyme and they vomiting it in this mixture inside each other's mouth, they later drop it inside the, the honeycombs, right? Which is in the hive. They use their wings, flap it, flap, 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 right? It takes a lot of hours, a lot of hours. Then after from 70% to 20%, the water goes outside out, out of this mixture. Then later, after a lot of processing, it becomes honey. So honey does not come from the belly of bees. It, may, it is made outside, inside the honey comes, my friend. Uh, could so you give here, me the word? Where Could you like translate the Arabic for me? Where it yes, says, that yes, comes it forth says, from the bellies. It says, يخرجو, يخرجو, Or يخرجو mean, uh, Min butuniha sharab. Do you see it? Yeah, shut up. So yeah. it comes out, it comes out as honey from their belly. That's a lie. That is a blatant lie. This is nothing but taqiyya. This is a lie from Muhammad. So we can conclude that this ayah in the Quran is a fabrication of Muhammad. And we know where Muhammad got it from. We, he got it from a Greek scientist, thousand years before Islam, by the name of Hippocrates, my friend. We know where it's from. We even know their actual source. The Greek scientist uh, was wrong. And Muhammad stole it. And he made it Quran. I kid you not. So could you not, could you not say, because obviously when the bees collect the, nect the pollen and the nectar and stuff, yeah, yeah. That it usually sticks to their body, or their abdomen. That's, uh, yeah. we, we have two things that they collect. They collect nectar and they collect also other stuff that is pollen. stuck. Yeah, pollen that is stuck in, to their legs. They, you know, they have like a tiny uh, antennas, let's say, uh, what, whatever you want to call it, in the, on their legs. And the pollen, right, of the, the pollen of the flowers stuck, and they use it also for other different things. But we are talking about the nectar and the bee enzyme inside the body of the bee. So no, it's a lie. Bees have no honey, as the Quran claims, inside their bellies. And you know Arabic, right? We, re we read it. يَخْرُجُوا مِنْ بُطُونِهَا شَرَابًا So a drink, what is that drink? It's honey. Why? Because it's for the nas, right? It's for the lil mm -hmm. nas, so for the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's honey, right? It's honey mm -hmm. that comes out of the bellies of bees. That's a lie. That's a lie. And we know where Muhammad got it from. He got it from Hippocrates. Let me put it on the screen for the people. <laughs> Yeah, from Hippocrates, yeah. yeah. Hippocrates claimed 2,500 years ago that bees make honey in their belly. It's a lie. So Muhammad stole it because we know that Muhammad had access to many books. He was working for Khadija as a merchant, right? So he stole it and he made it Quran. Proof is on the screen. Right? <laughs> so why are you a Muslim, my friend? No, they collect, um, you know how they collect pollen, yeah? My friend, forget about pollen. Pollen has nothing to do with the honey. They, make, how they also they make use, the honey. They use, they, they, use, they, use, they use all kind of stuff. 
right? The worker bees. Yeah. But they collect nectar, to be specific, they collect nectar plus the enzyme to make honey outside. Right? Outside their body. They only drop the mixture of nectar yeah. and enzyme. Keep mixing, mixing, mixing. They drop this mixture. It's a mixture. But, but that right? stuff, Much like, yeah, later, but when they're taking it, it from the flower and they're flying away, it's kind of stuck to that, to that statically charged head. Why are you is... talking, my friend, why are you talking about pollen? Because, because pollen is also used to make honey. Forget about it. I'm talking about the honey. The Quran claims the clearly. Quran says, Quran says, Honey comes from the bellies of yeah, bees. Uh, That's a uh, lie. Yachi, Yachi, what's wrong with you, man? Just, just let me explain. Just, <laughs> let me, just let me explain. All right, so basically, yeah, some of the pollen, yeah, or some of the stuff from the flower in general comes to the statically charged hair, which covers their body. Yes, but that's not that's not the be body. used for honey. That's not that. Forget about it. Forget the about. Stomach. I'm talking about what, the honey. The do you believe that? Uh, listen. Do you believe that honey is being pooped out by bees? It doesn't really say that it's being excluded. Yes or no, please. Yes or no, please. Let us not waste no. our time. This is the truth that we're talking. No, thank you. So that means Allah is lying. There's nothing called Allah. Muhammad is a liar and a deceiver. Why are you still a Muslim? If guys, he said no. Right? It's recorded. He said no. He doesn't believe that bees poop out honey. So why are you still a Muslim? Bro, I have a different understanding of the My friends call me later, right? Uh, Christian Prince is going to go live, guys. Let us not waste time. And I said no. He's already out of Islam. Right? Guys, thank you for watching. You know, I don't want to be a stumbling block for our dear brother in Christ, Christian Prince. We had a lot of uh, fun today, I think. We showed you that Islam is not a truth. Islam is nothing but deception of Muhammad. Muslims, unfortunately, as this young gentleman that we just spoke to, right, who must believe that yellow shoes make your penis hard. Don't wear uh, black shoes, brother. It will make give you a, a limp penis, brother. Right? He already said no. He doesn't believe that bees poop out honey. So he agrees that this ayah is a lie. It's a fabrication, man. Stolen, plagiarized from the work the, from the Greek scientist Hippocrates, who made that claim a thousand years before Islam. He was wrong. I mean, mankind can wrong be wrong. Even scientists can be wrong. So he was an old Greek scientist. He thought, right? He assumed that bees poop out honey. And Muhammad stole it because Muhammad had access to these books. Waraka was translating for him, guys. Waraka, the cousin of, of Khadija, was translating books, including the Injil. Right? Muhammad stole it and he put it in Quran. Right? Muslims, you need to wake up, man. You need to wake up. And Sunnis have to believe that Muhammad was a crossdresser and Allah cursed him for it. Allah cursed him for it. So, you know, this is the true face of Islam. Thank you for watching, guys. <clears throat> God bless you. God bless your families. I love you. Peace of Christ to all of you, including the Muslims. Please leave Islam, man. Islam is nothing but deception. You've been deceived and you've been fooled by an Arab cult created for the penis of Muhammad and only for the penis of Muhammad who had many privileges that other people did not have. He could curse people left and right, but he, he didn't even follow his own divine or so-called divine revelation of Allah. Right? Being a crossdresser, wearing the clothes of Aisha, Shia Muslims believe that yellow shoes will give you hard penis, brother. Disgusting, disgusting. It's all about sex, sex. And this is sex cult. This is the penis cult, man. So guys, thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your love. Thank you for your donations and support. May the peace of our Lord and Savior, the name above all names be with all of you. Don't let anyone fool you. And Muslims need to resort to lies and deception. Lying in the hadith. Calling the thawb of Aisha. Calling it bed. A bed. No, it's not bed. It's the garment of the woman. In this case, Muhammad's wife, Aisha. So they, because they are ashamed, they need to use false translations. Right? They are ashamed of the cross-dressing prophet of Islam. Wow.
Go with the peace of Christ, guys. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I think today we had an amazing live show. We had many amazing calls. One of them, or one of the Shia Muslims already left Islam because he doesn't believe that bees already, yeah, he doesn't believe that bees poop out honey. So that means he does not agree with the Quran of Allah. That means you're out of Islam. Congratulations, my friend. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. And Islam is nothing but the religion of Satan created by Muhammad and Khadija and her cousin Waraka to deceive the Arab nation. Muhammad is the son, the son of Satan. He is the child of Satan, the agent of Satan. The Quran is the book of Satan. Please leave Islam, my friends. Don't be fooled and come back home to Jesus. Your Lord and my Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. The name above all names. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. See you, Lord willing, in another amazing live show. God bless.